Hello, my dear lovely students. Hello, guys. A very warm welcome to this class. Now, this is a marathon session, and in this marathon session, we will be discussing important questions from the first chapter to the last chapter of zoology. We will be discussing so many questions today. So, uh, like we are going to start with the chapter which is the, your animal kingdom, and from your eleventh standard, we will be proceeding towards the twelfth standard. and the last chapter you know that will be strategies for the enhancement of the food production we will be discussing so are you guys ready are you excited hi students hello good morning so come on everyone get up share with your friends call everyone because this session is again going to be another interesting session a live interaction between you and me where we will be discussing questions yes this time the only thing which is important is Only thing which is important is the question practice, and that those question practices we are going to do today. Are you ready? Yes, student. I am also. I am uh, uh, very good. Hi, Vashvivi. Good morning. Good morning, Dikshan. Good morning, Dharma Pranav. Sh Shimmering stars. Uh, to uh, uh, like uh, student, I will be discussing everything. See, first of all, I will be doing the questions, and in the questions, whatever the concepts are, we will be discussing those concepts also. So, with the help of concepts, we will be discussing questions. Ready, everyone? Yes. we will be uh, looking at the theory also definitely like there are some important topics uh, students like uh, uh, if i say like sliding filament theory for example when uh, we say the um, uh, these joints are there or when we talk about the nerve impulse transmission or we talk about the cri gene bt genes so uh, the detail concept i will be discussing so no gandhi ranjan there is no need to study uh, earthworm in the frog only thing which you have to focus is the first organism that is the cockroach arthropods okay are everyone ready are everyone excited yes good 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 so what do i want from you guys now because we are doing this session we are uh, we will be discussing questions lots of questions are there the first thing you have to uh, keep uh, like you should have your rough notebook with you everyone take out your rough notebook and you should have your pen and pencil with you and along with that you should have your ncert your 11th and the 12th class ncert so this is going to be an open book test for all my buddies yeah yes and uh, like after two days like only two days of the practice actual practice is left and in those two days uh i'll make sure that you should know you will not like definitely you will not get time for the zoology so this is going to be a, a whole package of zoology where i will be discussing questions <laughs> okay buddies yes let's start let's not delay further because every minute right now is precious so let's start so first of all guys we are going to start with the chapter which is your animal kingdom right your favorite question your very favorite very uh, uh, like everyone's favorite question now uh, first we have is a circulatory system now guys are you going to tell me circulatory system is first completed in hey oh guys i am talking about the complete now complete circulatory system complete circulatory system that means blood is going to flow in the vessels not in the open spaces or sinus then what will be the right answer think about it i am 100% going to cover all the concept all the important topics of your neat examination specifically in zoology okay so circulatory system guys we have four option the first is given as arthropods we all have studied arthropods specifically the cockroach so in the cockroach what do we have is a open circulatory system open remember but what we are looking for is the closed circulatory system the complete circulatory system clear clear buddies now let's talk about the annelids annelids the example we have is a earthworm so in the annelids we have is the closed circulatory system we have is the closed circulatory system right buddies i guess many of you guessed it right correct option we have is option 2 right but because it's a revision session so definitely we will be exploring all the options 
So if I talk about the platyhelminthus and askelminthus, that is your flat worms and the round worm. In both of these cases, what do we have is an open circulatory system or an incomplete circulatory system, right? So they have is incomplete circulation. Clear? So what is the right answer? Right answer is option two. Was it an easy question? Yes. Yes, yes, in the analytes, uh, uh, absolutely right, Ramesh. In the analytes, we have as a leech, we have earthworms. Now, let's move on to the next question. Guys, give me a correct answer. Read the statement carefully. Notochord. Here we are saying notochord is mesodermally derived rod structure, rod like structure formed on the ventral side during the embryonic development in some animals. Point out if any misprinting is observed in the statement. A statement is given. You have to identify why the statement is wrong or like th this can be an option. Like uh, uh, the statement can be right also. So you have to tell me. Right? Is this statement, have you gone through this statement? Let's look at this option. Origin is not mesodermal. Next. Structure is not rod-like. Tarsal side instead of the ventral side. Next one we have is a no misprinting is observed in this statement. Yeah. So what will be the right answer? Right answer, guys, we have is a option three. Here, if you look at the statement, what is written in the statement? It is the ventral side. No, not in the ventral side. It is present in the dorsal side. Right? It is present the dorsal side. The Dorsal side, not the ventral one. Yes, buddies. Good going, good going, Barjay. Good going, Jyoti, Vaishnavi, Sonu, Vishnu, Lakshmi. Very well done, buddies. Now, let's move on to the next question. Open circulatory system uh, occurs in. We have various examples. Open circulatory system. So, open circulatory system, that means blood is going to flow in the sinus. Open circulatory system, that means blood flows in sinus. Sinus, that means open spaces. That means the tissues, they will be bathing in the blood. So that means here we are saying open spaces. Right? Earthworm, we have snail, we have cockroach, both two and three. What will be the right option? Very well done, guys. Correct answer we have is option in the earthworm, we have discussed also the closed circulatory system is found. Analytes, they have a closed circulatory system. On the contrary, the snail and the cockroaches are those which are having open circulatory system. You know about the cockroach? Similarly, in the snail also, the open circulatory system is found. Right, buddies? Clear? Okay. Now, which of the following is an R-E-A-C-L-O-M-A-T-E? Right? a c l o m a t you know, we divide organism on the basis of uh, coelom, the three type of organism. We have is a a coelomate, we have is a pseudo coelomate, and we have is a u coelomate, the true coelom organism, u coelomate. So all these organisms are there. Give me a correct answer. What will the right answer? A coelomate. That means no coelom. What are these organisms? Echinodermata, then we have is a chordata, we have is a platyhelminthus, or both one and two. Which one is a coelomate? Yes, absolutely right. Guys, these questions, they are directly from the chart. If you, uh, you, you all are having your NCRT open with you. So in the last page of the chapter Animal Kingdom, a chart is given. In that chart, the overview of the comparison between the various levels is given. Either it is a level of organization or it is a coelom or the digestive system, or the circulatory system, everything is being given. So you can refer to that table. So make sure that table should stick to your mind. If you haven't gone through it, just go through it right now. You can open your book and uh, give it an open book test. So correct answer we have is platyhelminthus. Okay, buddies, Keshav, now give me one more answer. Whenever we talk about the Ascalaminthus, so in Ascalaminthus, what kind of coelom is present? Ascalaminthus. Ascalaminthus. In the Ascalaminthus, that is the round worm. Right? So are they a coelomate, the pseudo coelomate, or the u coelomate? What is the right answer? Guys, tell me. Come on, come on, come on. I am waiting for your answer. Because this session we have, we are completing whole zoology. 
वेरी नाइस रमेश वेरी नाइस केशम दर शूडो सीलोमेट वॉट इज द राइट आंसर राइट आंसर इज द शूडो सीलोमेट right in this the pouches are present absolutely right now below ascalamenthus we will be having acelomate and after ascalamenthus we will be having ucelomate condition very nice now next one in mollusk body is covered with external skeleton made up of mollusk the body is covered with external skeleton we are talking about the mollusk external skeleton is there so it is made up of sponge and fibers the chitin calcium carbonate calcium silicate what is the right answer very nice buddy pseudo silomate is the right answer for the previous question now tell me in which of these organs when i will talk about the external skeleton we all know that in mollusk very nice in the mollusk the external skeleton is there but when we talk about the echinoderm in echinoderm internal skeleton is present clear so correct answer we have is a calcium carbonate so this is a direct line from ncert that in echinoderm internal skeleton whereas in mollusk external skeleton is there clear clear bodies now that is not chitin we are not talking about arthropods now next one which one of the following is matching set of phylum and three examples okay so on the one side we have is a various phylums like porifera nitaria and platyhelminthes and mollusca here we have various examples so you have to match it and tell me what is the correct answer the first is given as porifera the spongula euplectella and pinnatula is it right no this is not right yes spongula and euplectella this uh, belongs to porifera whereas when we talk about the pinnatula that is a sea pen this belongs to the nidaria so this is not the correct answer on the contrary we have is a nidaria we have is a bonilia physalia and aurelia these two belongs to the nidarian but this is not nidaria what is a bonilia it belongs to annelids this is your annelids now next one we have is platyhelminthes in the platyhelminthes we have they are given as planaria schizostoma and entrobius so entrobius is ascalamenthes this is ascalamenthes the pinworm clear whereas so that means first option is wrong second is also wrong the third option is also wrong so definitely the correct answer we have is option 4 that is mollusk loligo toredo and we have is a octopus guys all three they belong to the phylum mollusca yes this example is not there in the ncert but yes this is also a mollusk clear clear mani very nice option 3 is not right option 3 is not right guys these are your pyqs these are your neat pyqs so at least you should go through the pyqs now moving on to the next the most distinctive feature of echinoderm echinoderm right for example the one example that strikes in everyone's mind whenever we talk about the echinoderm that is the starfish the distinctive feature what is that very nice vishnu presence of endoskeleton calcareous ossicles now absence of excretory system presence of water vascular system all of above what is the right answer so these are the three uh, uh, examples are given like the features are given which are there yes absolutely right the correct answer we have is all of above so whenever we talk about the echinoderm always remember they do not have excretory system so how do they excrete on the body surface from the body surface there are some areas from which they release ammonia directly into the water so this is how they excrete now they have a calcareous ossicle the endoskeleton i told you also the in the case of mollusk the external skeleton is present the exoskeleton is present whereas in these the endoskeleton is present like that of us now the presence of the water vascular system water vascular system or the ambulacral system that help in the moving it helps in catching the prey and it he also helps in removal of the substances from the body clear so very important always remember whenever we talk about the poriferans in the poriferans we have canal system whereas when we talk about the water vascular system it is present in echinodermata please do not be confused both these processes procedures they are completely different right now 
Let's move on to the next question. Compound eyes occur in. Compound eyes. Yes, uh, Aditi, we are doing chapter wise from first chapter to the last chapter. We will be looking at all of this. It's a marathon session. It is going to uh, um, like take time. Definitely in one or two hours, I won't be able to complete. So it will take time. So gee, just be with me. Fill yourself. Have a cup of tea or the coffee along with me. And uh, we will be discussing the questions from your zoology. Very nice, buddies. Correct answer we have is the arthropods. Yes, in the case of the arthropod, like one example you must have started in the case of structure or organization in animal chapter. Over there, we uh, it is given in your NCRT, the compound eye is present. And the compound eye which is present in the cockroaches gives us superimposable images and mosaic vision. Any change in, or any predator coming, a highly sensitive image is formed. High sensitive image is formed. Right? So, compound eyes. So, lots and lots of ometidia. You remember, ometidia are present in their eyes. So, they have compound eyes. Correct answer we have is arthropoda. Hope the diagram, hope the diagram of compound eye is clear to you. What kind of image is formed by the cockroach? Always remember, it is a mosaic vision. So, all the ometidia, they form different image and later on brain collapse to form one image. And these images, they are superimposed. Now, now next question, guys. Aristotle lantern occur in. Guys, this is the Aristotle lantern. This is for the, for the diagram, just to make sure. Like, you should know. Yes, this is a res, less resolution. Absolutely right. Right? They won't be able to see image in a clear way. They won't be able to see you in a clear way. But any movement they can easily detect. So, you all must have noticed that during the night time, whenever we go to the kitchen, sudden movement in these cockroaches they are seen. Right? This is because they are highly sensitive. They are sensitive. Like, that means the image which is formed, highly sensitive image they form. So now we are talking about the Aristotle lantern. This is an example. Correct answer we have is mollusca. So these chitinous teeth which are present, they, they form the Aristotle lantern. Here? Yeah? Here? Yeah? Now, which of the following animal does not undergo metamorphosis, right? Which of these does not form the uh, uh, metamorphosis? They do not undergo the metamorphosis. Correct answer, earthworm, tunicate, moth or the starfish. Which doesn't undergo the metamorphosis? Correct answer we have is the earthworm. Earthworm do not undergo metamorphosis. Clear? Okay. Now, Moving on to the next, which of these animals is not a homeotherm? So, what do you mean by homeotherms? Homeotherms are those animals which do not have a constant body temperature, whereas we are having a constant body temperature. Here, we have is a macropus, pilon, camelus, we have is a cetacula. What is the right answer? Think about it. Go slow. It's okay. It's okay. Just go slow. Take your time and give answer in the comment section. First, we have given, uh, they have given is a macropus. One of the example of the macropus we have is those pouched animal, right? Next, we have is a chelone. Yes, correct answer we have is a chelone. Camelus, then cetacula, that means your parrot, your common parrot. Yes, students, it's a turtle. Turtle is the right answer. Cetacula, guys, this is, these are the endotherms. Or like they have a constant body temperature. That means a parrot. These are the parrot. These are the camel. And macropus, these are your pouched animal. Yes, good going, Navjot. Good going, buddies. Now, next is identify the vertebrate group of animal characterized by the crop and gizzard in their digestive system. Very important. There are group of animals who are having crop and gizzard. One of that example, one of the crop and the gizzard example we have studied in the topic of cockroach. In the topic of cockroach, we have talked about it. Now listen very carefully. In the cockroach, you remember the whole shape, a crop is present. For example, it started with the mouth, the IC system started with the mouth, then salivary glands, then we have as a crop, proventriculars, and then uh, the further, the midgut and the hindgut is present. Clear? Whereas there is another group of animals who are having the crop and the gizzard. What is the right answer? Right answer, absolutely right, buddies. It is the aves. So in the aves, 
the crop is present where the food or the grains they are being stored and gizzard is the place where the mastication of the food occur so those grain which your birds eat they are being broken down in the gizzard region gizzard they have a proventriculus or that means peristomial teeth are present which help in the mastification mastication now let's have a look guys let's have a look at this image as you can see the whole digestive system is given this is just for your understanding for the better understanding because what i believe is with the help of diagram students understand things in a better way so it starts with the mouth you know the birds the uh, dentition or the teeth they are not developed so where do they undergo the mastication process the breakdown of the uh, larger food into the smaller food so that occurs in the uh, this region where is it this is a gizzard region right this is a crop region where the food is being stored clear clear bodies with the diagram things hope you are, hope it is clear till uh, like if this question comes hope you will not be able to forget at least because of this diagram now do not no need to draw this diagram no do not like uh, this is just for the understanding because many time it is like students they are able to understand the topic with the help of a diagram in a better way that is the reason so i keep on uh exploring uh, things with the help like this happens with me also this is always my favorite yes vishnu absolutely right now in case of poriferan the sponge seal is lined with a flagellated cell so th there are flagellated cells present what is the name very nice buddies that is a coanocyte so coanocytes these are the flagellated cell i'll explain you about it because with this the water vascular system will also be clear to you oh uh, sorry a canal system see i am confused so right now here look at this uh, diagram look at this diagram guys very carefully focus over here and i would li would like to discuss with you now the canal system right so here guys here some cells are present which are flagellated flagellated that means they are having flagella which helps in the movement right this is how the cells they are arranged and they are arranged throughout towards the internal side now buddies this is the region where we have is a cavity which we call it as spongio seal characteristic feature of the phylum porifera here these are the pores present which are termed as ostea from where the water enters now it enters into the spongio seal the outer layer is termed as a pinacoderm pinacoderm now question comes which type of cells are present in pinacoderm the pinacocytes this is the pinacocytes clear clear buddies now next we have is towards the inner side we have is a coanoderm coanoderm so coanoderm is made up of these cells like which i have made only on one side these are made up of the coanocytes coanocytes clear and this is the osculum from which the water goes out so this is a diagram of a canal system clear clear bodies now let's move on to the next question now we have various group of animals which you can see on your screen guys you have to tell me about the aquatic animal which is the best combination of aquatic animals all these diagrams hope they are clear so you know the dolphin we have is a shark we have is a seal right we have a uh, uh, what is this what's the name what's the name i just forgot penguins we have uh, a tri trigon also with us the stingray what is the right answer guys batch <laughs> that's so great the correct answer we have is the whales yes the dolphins and we have is a seal yeah so all these are the mammals very nice very nice aditi very nice oh very nice kesha very nice rachel good going buddies now 
which of the following represent the order horse guys i am talking about this buddy horse order horse what is the right answer so we have four option the first is equidae we have is perissodactyla we have is cabalus we have is a ferus so that means we are talking about the, this is also a pyq because you know pyq's previous year questions at least they are uh, important and uh, it not at least they, they are in fact very important and every time it is like you should go through the pyq so these are the important pyq this series no vishnu i know the this is because of the evolution chapter you are saying equidae no correct answer we have is perissodactyla it's not equidae this is because of the evolution chapter where we have talked about the evolution of horse so ik so maybe you are de de derivating through the, like deriving this through the ikus the modern horse Yes, yes, happy. That is perissodactyla is the right answer. Here, yeah, perissodactyla. Now, 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 very important. An important characteristics that hemichordates share with chordate. Guys, this is a diagram for the balanoglossus. This diagram, your NCERT diagram, balanoglossus. So, balanoglossus, you know, this belongs to the hemichordata. So, you have to tell me the characteristic which is shared between hemichordates and the chordates. four options are there think about it and then give me answer in the comment section absence of notochord ventral tubular nerve cord pharyngeal gill slits pharynx without gill slit the characteristic feature which is present between these two you know the hemichordates they have stomochord with them right they have stomochord you remember like at least those ncrt lines you have to remember very nice very nice very very they have stomochord buddy they are having stomochord so correct answer we have is the pharynx with a gill slit right they have this pharyngeal region they have gill slits the branchial region is present where they have is a gills gill spores clear clear akash pranav yes yes satvik good so pharynx with a gill slit now Moving on to the next, which of the following is found in both seal and trades and echinoderm adult stage? I guess things will be very much clear to you with the help of this diagram. So you have to tell me what is the similarity between a uh, <laughs> a seal and trade, right? Seal and trade and echinoderm. What's the similarity between these? Two? Adult echinoderm. what is the right answer right answer is the radial symmetry like you can see here in the sea anemone the symmetry which is present is the radial symmetry that means any plane passing through the center any plane will divide the organism into two equal halves any plane this is a radial symmetry similarly in the starfish also the radial symmetry is found found whereas whenever we talk about the larvae of these echinoderm for example the bipinaria larva they are having bilateral symmetry they do not have radial symmetry yes clear so always remember if you have noted down just note it down in your notebook so whenever we talk about the larvae of a echinoderm they are having bilateral symmetry whereas adults they are having your radial symmetry very nice very nice very nice next question now we have again guys we have is a two column and you have to match these two column the first one is a column 1 and the column 2 see it is always my favorite i have discussed with you guys many time that i always go for the, the, with the column 2 and then i move towards the column 1 the first one is a canal system where do we find canal system where it is present we have discussed right now that is it is present in the poriferens right hope from now onwards you will not be confused between the canal system and the water vascular system water vascular system is present in echinodermata please 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 if you know about it that is well and good if you don't know about it just write it down in your notebook right because uh, once you start writing something the things they are better engraved in your mind i guess you are going on the right track i can get many of you uh, are giving the right answer so muscular pharynx that is for the absorption they do not have a, these are the ascalamenthes they are basically the endoparasites so they feed on the pre digested food in our system so they have muscular pharynx for the absorption 
very nice now jointed appendages correct answer we have is arthropods metameres that means you can see some segments they are present on their body segments they are not only externally segmented internally also they are segmented that means the structures they are repeated in each segment that is termed as a metameric segmentation <coughs> clear so let's look at the correct answer many students they are saying the option 3 is correct a c 5 yes we are going with the option 3 good going guys good going very nice good job now moving on to the next is match the following column and select the correct option again you have to select the correct option the first is given as gregarious polyphagous pest who are gregarious who are polyphagous so if i give you an example in the northern india if you are from north india you know about it so uh, there was a time like now not a years back in this year only there were a group of uh, insect that came and they destroyed the whole agriculture field that is the locust in the in the hindi locust i don't know in your language in your native language we call it tiddy so they spread that means they first of all they live in groups and they eat everything they are polyphagous so there are two words given gregarious that means they live in a group they love each other and the first one uh, second is in a polyphagous that means they will eat, uh, eat everything yes it's a pest now correct answer we have is a locust so what do we call locust in your language like in hindi we call it uh, tiddy tiddy have you heard about it have you seen this in a newspaper so there were huge huge population they came and they destroyed the agriculture field in uttar pradesh in haryana and rajasthan hi good morning oh my god now adult with a radial symmetry larvae with a bilateral symmetry so this in this is case the correct answer we have is the astrea so that means we are talking about the echinodermata okay akash very nice book lungs they are present in the scorpions remember for the arthropods see there are some things which you have to remember but pachavati pachavati okay very nice vishnu now uh, guys whenever we talk about the book lungs it is present in the uh, in the scorpion so guys one thing please 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 remember whenever we talk about the uh, respiratory system respiratory system of a of a whole arthropod is important right in which organism gills are present the book gills these should be clear to you and many time questions come from this topic vida thalu in telugu very nice that's great because this is um, this is that channel where we are having students from all over the country so i'm happy that today with you also i am learning a lot clear now next is a bioluminescence it is shown by the tenophora that is a tenoplana example we have is a tenoplana so they have some photocyte cells that elimin uh, they uh, uh, emit light they show bioluminescence you want to have a look see this is how they eliminate uh, uh, emit lights clear who is chavi my mom oh my god see i have i have the uh, see <laughs> guys you are disclosing my uh, my age very bad now clear is it clear but is is it clear now can you match this for the first the correct option we have is a 4 i guess we are going with option 1 right right bioluminescence yes now let's move on to the next question next question listen this is also a pyq everybody note this down this is a pyq so you know the previous year questions revision they are important and if you are if you are uh, uh, that means if you are able to solve this that is well and good that means you are on the right track what is the right option satvik option 1 yes everybody everybody tell me what will be the right option without exception read this question always hold true always hold true first we have is a cartilaginous skeleton cartilaginous skeleton is a chondric thighs yes in chondric thighs all the group of fishes they are having cartilage as their skeleton so they are having cartilaginous endoskeleton without any exception 
थैंक यू सो मच ओके तो इन बिटवीन आई गेस वी शुड कीप टॉकिंग बिकॉज दैट इज गोइंग टू गिव यू ऑल्सो सम पॉजिटिव एनर्जी बिकॉज दैट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट बिकॉज यू सी इट सेल्फ जोलॉजी इफ आई टॉक अबाउट जोलॉजी और जोलॉजी इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग आई माई सेल्फ हैज डन पी एच डी इन जोलॉजी एंड फ्रॉम द ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड आई वॉज वेरी मच क्लियर दैट आई वॉन्ट टू परस्यू माई करियर इन जोलॉजी सो आई डेड माई बी एस सी ऑनर्स इन जोलॉजी देन मास्टर्स इन जोलॉजी एंड देन पी एच डी इन जोलॉजी ओके ओके नाउ वीवी पेरस वीवी पेरस द मैमल्स आर बीइंग गिवन बट ऑल मैमल्स दे आर नॉट वीवी पेरस टू एक्सेप्शंस आर गिवन इन द एनसीईआरटी वन इज अ प्लैटिपस एंड सेकंड इज अ एकिडना क्लियर सो दिस आर दिस इज हैविंग एक्सेप्शन सो दिस इज नॉट द करेक्ट आंसर व्हाट इज द क्वेश्चन सेइंग द होल्ड ट्रू होल्ड ट्रू होल्ड ट्रू now next one is possess a mouth with the upper and the lower jaw yes in the chordates upper and the lower jaw is present but we have agnatha also so jawless you remember jawless we have talked about it now next one we have is so exception is present here exception is present here but in the first one exception is not there so first option can be our probable right answer now three chambered herd with the one completely incompletely divided ventricle reptiles one exception guys what do we have here what's the exception exception is the crocodile everyone's favorite right so here are the two examples i'm going to write over here because they are very important and many time questions come from that thing that is a platypus the platypus and second we have is echidna these are the egg laying mammals these are what egg laying mammals yes buddies pure egg laying mammals crocodile yes egnatha absolutely right satvik now uh, uh, now we have various animals these are those which are not viviparous not viviparous that means they lay egg right so four option platypus whale flying fox and elephant correct answer we have is a platypus would you like to meet platypus yes this is a platypus and this is a echidna these are mammals but they lay eggs here yeah? these are the mammals but they lay egg here yeah? now next one let's move on to the next chapter the structural organization in animals guys did you enjoy how many questions were you able to solve in this chapter animal kingdom we have discussed on an average 20 of uh, four questions 24 questions we have already completed right out of this 24 question how many questions were you guys able to attempt tell me tell me be true be true be true that means uh because uh if you are able to solve more than 50% that means you are on the right track and with this revision i have tried to touch each and every topic on this chapter either it is because if i say the important topic in this chapter very nice satvik 23 is a good score good vishnu 20 itself is a good number but uh, buddies if i'll tell you i have tried to touch each and every topic and there are two things which you should remember the examples of echinodermata and example of of mollusca echinodermata and mollusca both these examples they are super important for your examination and one thing which you should not forget is a mammal every year from mammal i don't know why this is examiner's favorite so they ask question from mammals own the examples etc it's okay good 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 aditi everyone doing good here yeah? now structure organization in animals in the structure organization in animals two topics that are again super important first is the epithelial tissue i will be having some questions from epithelial tissues also and the second topic which is important from this chapter that is the cockroach now you will be like ma'am from the first minute to the last minute of this uh, like till this minute the hatte 40 minutes we, we were just discussing the cockroach because it is important in the first uh, chapter also many question they came from directly from arthropods that is a cockroach okay now this is a first question first question look at this diagram think about it we are saying the epithelium found in the lining of the stomach and the intestine in the intestine this is a lumen of the intestine where we have is a crypts crypts are present so crypts are basically the depressions these crypts 
and these are the villi the micro villi over here if you zoom it you will find a micro villi are there now you have to tell me which kind of cell is present in the lining of the stomach and the intestine what is the right answer the correct answer we have is the columnar cells yes the columnar cells very good very good the columnar cells the columnar cells they are the column shaped cells like this you can see they are the column shaped cells they are having microvilli is present on their surface and they increases the surface area for the absorption clear if you look at these cells they are not square they are column shaped and the nucleus which is present they are present towards the basal side not towards the apical side they are not present in the center also they are present towards the base here will you remember this so whenever we talk about the digestive system we have is a columnar cells whenever we talk about those areas for example we have is the fallopian tube in the respiratory tract we have ciliated epithelium here we have ciliated epithelium now next one the epithelium cells which are present in the ducts of glands in the tubular part of the nephron right whenever we are saying the uh, nephron in the nephron that means in the kidney region the tubular part those tubules the proximal convoluted tubule the uh, distal convoluted tubule what kind of cells are present there right and in fact in the glands also glands also some specific type of cells are present what do we call it columnar stratified cuboidal squamous correct answer we have is the cuboidal cells very nice the cuboidal cells are present here yeah. now let's move on to the next question fibroblast macrophages mast cell are present in see with the help of diagram just because we should practice more and more questions and just to reduce the time to draw the diagram and making you understand the concept i am coming here with the diagram only otherwise why why am i doing this so that you will be able to recall concept in a better way if you will get your ncert diagram so that recalling become very important now what is the diagram like what is this diagram the correct answer we have is a loose connective tissue what is what uh, specific can you give me the specific example of this loose connective tissue yes madi absolutely right this is a loose connective tissue what is the example what is the name of this diagram what is the name guys i am waiting for your answer tell me in the comment section what is what is the right answer that is a areolar connective tissue absolutely right areolar connective tissue right in areolar connective tissue this is a diagram from your ncert very nice nidhi very nice so areolar connective tissue we have as a macrophages fibroblast cells are there which are secreting the fibers some collagen fibers will be there and some mast cell they are present aeroplane this is not aeroplane this is a areolar connective tissue clear clear buddies this is a areolar connective tissue so in the areolar connective tissue two examples we have uh, seen in the ncert <laughs> pranav i can, i i can understand ha huh. now listen uh guys whenever we talk about the connective tissues in the dense connective what are the examples of the dense connective tissue we have is a tendons and ligaments agree now whenever we talk about the specialized connective tissue we have is a bone we have uh, various blood is also present clear so that chart of types of connective tissue the loose connective tissue the dense connective tissue and the specialized connective tissue should be there in your mind if you have an idea if you know about it that is well and good if not then take out your notes whatever your notes are if right now you are having your ncert book that is well and good read from the ncert if you are having your school notes read from the school a chart must be there in this chapter so that chart is important those examples they are important here yeah, this diagram itself i don't know uh, this is again examiner's favorite yes bone cartilage blood lymph now uh, uh, moving on to the next presence of intercalated disc we are uh, saying presence of intercalated disc is a feature of where do we find intercalated disc it is not given in this uh, diagram but yes in one of the type of the muscle intercalated disc is present ha huh. very nice 
गुड गोइंग मैडी गिव मी करेक्ट आंसर करेक्ट आंसर वी हैव वेरी नाइस द कार्डियक मसल इज अ राइट वन कार्डियक मसल दे आर हैविंग इंटर कैलेटेड डिस्क दिस इज हाउ द कार्डियक मसल दे विल बी हैविंग इंटर कैलेटेड डिस्क लाइक दिस here yeah. now let's compare each of these right so that any question coming from these topics should be clear to you so whenever we talk about the cardiac muscles they are present in the heart they are those the characteristic feature is they are having intercalated disc second thing is they are uninucleated and they are also striated clear yes but is human heart now whenever we talk about the skeletal muscles they are striated they are voluntary and they are multinucleated cylindrical uh, shape the smooth muscles smooth muscles they are uh, tib uh, not tubular shaped uh, they are spindle in shape they are uninucleated they are uh, present in our viscera right and also whenever we uh, talk about the myometrium which is present in the uterus region which helps in their contraction relaxation help in the parturition process there also we find the smooth muscle so they are not under our control they are involuntary clear this is involuntary this is also involuntary this is voluntary clear which one is multinucleated this one is multinucleated both of them they are uninucleated here skeletal muscles they are present throughout the body throughout the skeletal muscles throughout the skeleton are there both muscles basically in the gut as well as in the uterus lining in the myometrium we'll find the smooth muscle whereas when we talk about the cardiac muscles the name itself indicate they will be in the heart very nice clear clear buddies these diagrams these examples why am i discussing for you only suppose question comes from a skeletal muscle things should exactly they should strike on your mind definitely if you are in 10th pass you can also see this see, 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 see this class now next question is which of the following tissue exerts the greatest control over the body responsive to changing condition suppose there are conditions which are changing right any change is happening in the in external environment how do we sense it do we sense it with the help of epithelial tissue connective tissue we have is a muscular tissue or the nervous nervous tissue what is the right answer come on satvik hello bachcho madi sayada vishnu aditi come on everyone give me answer in the comment section very nice a very easy answer the correct answer we have is a neural tissue so neural tissue is the tissue which helps basically in the communication right so the those they help in the transmission of the nerve impulse we will be looking at the de detailed procedure of the nervous system also clear clear buddies this topic is clear if yes then give me thumbs up in the comment section are you enjoying guys we have already crossed 40 minutes is it interesting like are you finding it yes this is going to help you definitely it is i am vouching in this video that it, this is going to help you a lot because in this time frame where we are discussing the whole zoology many concepts from various topics will be clear to you and just imagine a two day before exam the whole zoology i am going to study in the 3 to 4 hours isn't it great yes it helps in communication so this is important and i'll make sure like today if you are attending this session i'll make sure that after this session you'll not you don't have to pick up the topic like th this uh, zoology part at least then you can focus on the other chapter the other chapter or the other subject because what i am trying is to make you revise all the important concept through the questions question part now <coughs> yeah very nice great so the neural tissue is the right answer let's move on to the next uh, next question the type of junction helps to stop substance from leaking across the tissue help substance to leaking across the tissue direct line from your ncert only is it a tight junction it's a cap junction it's a adhering junction none of these stop leaking stop leaking what is the right answer stop leaking tight gap adhering none of this concept i am going to explain you very nice correct answer we have is a tight junction three lines are given in the ncert just focus on those three lines do not go into the detail first whenever we talk about the tight junction it stop leakage it will not allow the leakage whereas when we talk about the gap junction gap junction is that junction which help in communication 
right it help in the transfer of the substances the gap junction adhering junction keeps the cells together this is what it is given in the ncrt focus on your ncrt uh, forget everything here yeah? now next question in a female cockroach this is a diagram of a female cockroach the ovaries are found in guys this is a diagram these are the diagrams of ovary these are the ovaries now take out your ncrt give me answer from the ncrt only take out your ncrt and give me open book answer from the ncrt what is the right answer where are these present whenever we talk about the ovaries what is the right answer now correct answer we have is 2 to 6 abdominal segments yeah right second to six abdominal segments in these segments the ovaries are present clear ncrt directly given in the ncrt in the reproductive system male in the female reproductive system good going pranav good going madi very nice correct answer 2 to 6 abdominal segment very nice buddy is very nice pranav very nice clear so this diagram hope it is clear and simultaneously guys i told you in the starting that you have to take out your rough notebook no one asked me ma'am why do we need rough, rough notebook we are not going to solve question over here the reason why i am saying this is like throughout the session you will be finding some important examples so those important examples you have to write down in the uh, rough notebook which you are having right now some important concepts suppose there are some concepts which you are not aware of and those concepts you can write it down another third very important thing is there are some topics where you are actually confused right and these are those topics which you want that after this session i should focus on this these chapters right and as like suppose if if i if i have discussed about the female and the male reproductive system and you want the male and the female reproductive system you should you should uh, go through it before going for the examination just write down those topics right these two they will be your short notes and these topics you have to revise just after half an hour or one hour of the session suppose we are going to complete this in a 4 hour like right? the whole thing after that 4 hours just sit down take take your coffee just uh, relax yourself and just read those topics which you are finding that i have to work on these topics again so these are the three things you have to write these are going to help you on the day of the examination not as your cheating thing but it will be helpful uh, in the early morning where you are just revising thing clear very nice good going now next one in the cockroaches the respiratory system consists of network of tracheae the network of tracheas are there that opens to the outside through the small holes that are present on the lateral side of the body you know respiratory system of the cockroach in the respiratory system of the cockroach we have various tracheal system that means some vessels kind of structures are there and those things they open to the outside on the lateral side that is termed as spiracles what do we call it spiracles here yeah, i have taken aditi a one shot on cockroach where i have only discussed about the question with the detail concept aditi after the session just noted out that you are going to revise that clear yeah, very nice spiracles are there and they are of 10 pairs those openings which are present on this regions so they are termed as spiracles they are 10 pair of the spiracles see these are the tracheal system of the cockroach they do not have a particular structure the organ which helps in the respiration now these fine tubes they are in directly contact with the body tissue where they deliver oxygen and from those tissue they take up the carbon dioxide clear yeah, good job buddies good job good job now let's move on to the next question very important question smooth muscles so whenever we are saying smooth muscles what are these smooth muscles smooth muscles are involuntary cylindrical striated i want all my students to give give this answer in the comment section if you have gone through the topic if you have gone through the session i have discussed about it twice give me answer in the comment section smooth muscles are what are these smooth muscles come on come on 
Guys, I am telling you, after this session, no need to take out the zoology part. So definitely it is going to take time. I am not going to run behind the topic. Just to give you an explanation and just give, uh, I just uh, give you the correct answer and I'll go. Then there is no point of me standing over here and giving you an explanation. You can find this question in the books also. You can practice from there. Very bu nice buddies, involuntary, fusiform and non-striated is the correct answer. Very nice, very nice. Good going buddies. Now, again we have these two and you have to match. Very nice, very nice Vishnu, very nice buddies. Now, give me a correct answer. Match these two. Heparin, histamine, serotonin, beta lymphocytes, B lymphocytes, beta, I don't know why I'm saying beta lymphocytes, and the internal scavengers. Think about it, guys. Give me a correct answer in the comment section. Let me drink some water by the time. Hope you all are drinking water. Guys, answer, answer, answer. Are you sure? Pranav, option three. Can I go for it? Let's, let's solve this question. So whenever we talk about the heparin, heparin, they are what? Anticoagulant. They will not allow the blood to coagulate. Now, next one we have is a histamines. Histamines, they act as a vasodilator. They act as a vasodilator. You know, whenever you get any abrasion or when you get any injury, the area over there swells up. The reason is vasodilation has happened. And what is the reason behind the vasodilation? All thanks to the histamine. Now, serotonin, on the contrary, it acts in the opposite way. It acts as a vasoconstrictor. Good going, guys. Next one we have is a B lymphocytes. B lymphocytes, these are the plasma B cells. They secrete antibodies. Now, next we have is an internal scavenger. We have is a macrophage. Clear? Clear? Very nice. So, what's the right an answer? You're saying option A, right? Can we go for option A? I didn't go through it. If you are confident, I can trust my buddies. Now, next one. Malfeasant tubules are present at the junction of. Again, your favorite topic, that is a cockroach. Come on, all my cockroaches, give me this answer. Come on, everyone. What will be the right answer? What is the right answer? Malfeasant tubules are present at the junction of. Where are these present? Malfeasian tubules. 100 to 150 tubules are present. Uh, that we call it Malfeasian tubules. Where are these present? Come on, come on, everyone. The correct answer we have is midgut and hindgut help in removal. Very nice. You are you're doing good. Good going, Pranav. Good going, Maddie. Everyone, everyone, just be active in the chat box and give me answers. Good going. Yeah, very nice. The correct answer we have is this. You want to have a look? You, one of my students, she was saying that she was having, she's having a problem in the cockroach. So let's have a look at the cockroach. So this is how a cockroach digestive system lo look like. This is your NCRT diagram again. If it is not visible properly, you can refer to your NCRT also. See, salivary glands are present. Question comes, how many salivary glands are present? Remember, two pairs of salivary glands are present in the cockroach. They were having a esophagus, they are having a crop. Later on, a region termed as a proventricular, the gizzard is present, which helps in the mastication. Then we have is a hepatic KK, the number is less. That is, they secrete digestive enzymes. Six to eight hepatic KK are present. Then we have is a midgut. Later on, in the junction of the midgut and the hindgut, these KK, these are the small blind sac like structures, are present, which are termed as a malfeasian tubules. Now, question comes what is the function of malfeasian tubules? There are three functions of the mal malfeasian tubules. First one is the absorption. Absorption. Second one is the secretion. And the most important function is the excretion. These are the three functions of the malfeasian tubule. One of the PYQ. I have discussed in that session also. Here. Clear? Absorption, secretion and excretion. In this case, the correct example we have is, for example, the potassium urate. And the, those potassium urate, they are being absorbed by these malfeasian tubules from the lymphatic system. They are being absorbed 
right and later on it is converted into the calcium urate and uh, sorry calcium carbonate and later on the urate is excreted yes there are three function not only a single function three function detailed of this detailed i have discussed in the session of cockroach one shot it is there on this channel itself you can go and you can watch dear buddies now moving on to the next which of the following type of connective tissue is mismatched with this matrix mismatch mismatch give me a correct answer four options are there areolar loose packed uh, uh, matrix of protein fibers bone mineralized matrix cartilage highly vascular matrix blood liquid matrix what is the right answer come on all my buddies come on come on come on sweet sister come on satvik pranav what is the right answer come on so we have to look for a mismatch very nice correct answer we have is a cartilage they are saying highly vascular matrix highly vascular matrix correct answer we have is option 3 very nice now let's move on to the next question which of the following epithelium covers the inner lining of trachea large bronchi and helps in removal of the helps in removal of the mucus what is the name tell me what is the correct answer for this question oh very nice very nice very nice good going buddies come on come on come on everyone right answer this i have discussed about this i have already discussed about this what's the right answer very nice correct answer we have is ciliated columnar epithelium Yeah. Cilia they act like as a broom right it helps in removal of all the waste from our body so they are present in the natural opening like our tracheal system uh, sorry in the respiratory system where it helps in the movement of the mucus so they have cilia guys if i ask you one question what uh, how does a cilia move is it a unidirectional movement or is it a bidirectional movement it is a unidirectional movement cilia always move a single direction it doesn't move like this whereas those people who are suffering from cystic fibrosis which is again a genetic disorder in the cystic fibrosis the direction of movement of these cilia is opposite clear yeah? so instead of eliminating those waste so they keep on accumulating such waste in their respiratory tract clear yeah? ciliated columnar good going buddy is very nice proud of everyone come on good going and simultaneously keep noting down the score also that on which score you guys are now next one select the incorrectly matched pair from the following you have to match incorrectly matched pair incorrect guys first thing is read the question properly like on the 7th like few days are left come on everyone so uh read the question properly if incorrect is given focus on the incorrect part if correct is given focus on the correct part now neurons nerve cells fibroblast areolar tissue osteocyte bone cells chondrocyte smooth muscle cell what is the right answer this is the right one this is also a right fibroblast areolar connective you remember the diagram of areolar connective tissue hope that is also revised so osteocytes is at the present in the bone cell this is a incorrect match pair very nice Come on, good, 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 good. Correct option we have is option four. Now, guys, let's move on to the next chapter. That is a biomolecules. Two chapters down. Two chapters down. Now, next we have is biomolecules. Yes, these are the cartilaginous cells. Very nice. Two chapters are down. Let's talk about the biomolecules. Are you ready? So simultaneously in between the session, keep drinking water, keep yourself hydrated. Two days, just take care of yourself. Just do that. Bio molecules. Now, bio molecules is that chapter which is a uh, very much favorite of many students. They are like stuck everywhere. But don't worry, I'll try to solve all your doubt in these questions. Okay, you want me to explain? the previous question guys this is correct neurons nerve cells correct right we have is a fibroblast the areolar connective tissue we have discussed about it 
Osteocytes, these are the bone cells. Whereas a chondrocyte is given as a smooth muscle cell, nowhere related to it. Cost chondrocytes, these are your cartilaginous cells. Now, <coughs> now next question is, helical structure of protein is stabilized by? We are talking about the 3D structure of protein, the alpha helix, the beta plated sheet. Now give me correct answer. How it is being stabilized? What is the right answer? Is it a dipeptide bond, hydrogen bond, ether bond or peptide bond? Look at the structure. Just imagine the structure of a, pepti uh, of a uh, peptide chain. In the peptide chain, the peptide bond is present. It's a CUNH bond. We call it peptide bond. They form a helic -like st helical structure like this. And this uh, helical structure which they make, they are stabilized by dash type of they are special, uh, specialized by dash type of bond. What is the right answer? Tamil Arasi, very nice. No puja, student, this is not the correct answer. Correct answer is hydrogen. Hydrogen bond, buddies, I'll, I'll explain. Oh, wait, hydrogen bond. So this is how a helical structure look like. Agree? Do you agree to this point? Helical structure. Have you gone through the, uh, in this uh, chapter? If not, then just focus over here. We cannot do it anything right now because it, after two days you have your exam. Yeah, now give me a correct answer. Now, guys, can you see some peptide bonds are there? See, peptide bond. But here we have is hydrogen bond. So, in between the amino acid, you'll find peptide bond. But this stable, this structure is stabilized by the. Here. Here. Yes, Satvik. Yes. Aditi, very nice, hydrogen bond. Now, next, let's move on to the next question. Again, my favorite, my every time's favorite question, that is a match the columns. Two columns are there and we have to match these two. Let's have a look. On the one side, we have some proteins given. Proteins and some derivatives are also given. Some derivatives, not only protein, let's not write protein. It won't be good. Now, here are some functions are given. Let's have a look. Now. Insulin, collagen, receptors and the trypsin. What is the right answer? Match it. Come on, guys. Come on, everyone. I am, I am very much impressed. Cosmic, it's okay. I am very much impressed. Now, let's have a look. Insulin, collagen. So, insulin, we have as a collagen, we have as a receptor, we have as a trypsin. Think about it. Think about it. Happy, happy said option one. See, there is miscellaneous answers I am get, get, getting. Option 1, option we have is option 4. What is the right answer? Come on, come on, come on. Option 4 you are saying. Now listen. What is insulin? Insulin is a hormone. What does insulin do? Insulin helps in regulating the blood glucose level. It reduces the blood glucose level. You all are aware of it? Now, next one is a collagen. Collagen is what? Collagen is intercellular ground substance. Intercellular ground substance? Agree? Yes. Happy everyone? Now, receptors, they help in the sensory receptions. So, uh, this receptors which are present on the body surface. So that. Next one is a trypsin. Trypsin is what? Enzyme. What is the function of trypsin? What is the function of trypsin? Come on, come on, my digestive system students. Come on. What is the uh, function of trypsin? Trypsin helps in digestion of proteins. Right? So, this helps in the digestion of protein. Yeah? So, what's the right answer for the first option 2? You're saying option 4? Okay. Okay. For the B, we have is a 5. For the C, we have is a 1. Good going. Now, let's move on to the next question. Select the option which is not correct. Again, in the question we have is a not correct. Guys, I know biomolecules is many of the students, like they feel that this chapter is difficult. Don't think about it. Be positive. I know many questions you will be able to solve. Yes, trypsin is, because, is uh, like digestion. Uh, uh, it helps in the digestion of the protein in the small intestine. Very nice. Come on. Good, good. Which is not correct. You have to look for the option which is not correct. Let's have a look. Malonate is a competitive inhibitor of succinic dehydrogenase. Yeah, competitive inhibitor. I'll, I'll explain you this inhibitor wala concept also. Don't worry. Just, just have some patience. Think about it. 
substrate bind to the enzyme at its active site addition of lot of succinate does not reverse the inhibition of succinic dehydrogenase by malonate a non competitive inhibitor binds the enzyme at the site distance from that from which bind the substrate now listen very carefully there are two type of inhibition there are two type of inhibition the first one is uh, the the competitive inhibition so competitive inhibition is that inhibition where the <coughs> inhibitor they bind to the active site let's let's revise let's revise this then then this concept will be clear to you yeah guys whenever we talk about inhibition inhibition in a very short way i will be explaining this topic enzyme inhibition first let's talk about competitive inhibition competitive inhibition second one we have is non competitive inhibition inhibition and the third one we have is uncompetitive inhibition now listen very carefully whenever we talk about the competitive inhibition look at this word competitive inhibition competitive inhibition that means there will be competition competition with whom competition with the substrate so here the inhibitor inhibitor i'm writing with the letter i right i binds to active site listen active site of enzyme right and now what happens is competition between the substrate and the substrate competition substrate comp will compete with the inhibitor right now here if we are going to increase the concentration if we are going to increase the concentration of substrate then what will happen the product formation will increase that means more product formation more product formation clear competitive inhibitor next we have is a non competitive inhibitor non competitive inhibitors these are those inhibitors where the inhibitor bind to allosteric site inhibitor bind to allosteric site so allosteric site is different from the active site right and once enzyme is bound once we have is a enzyme that is bound to the inhibitor it will form ei complex now this ei complex will not bind to substrate now this will not bind to substrate so this reaction this reaction is not possible clear yeah. so it has inhibited it now whether you increase the substrate concentration or you decrease the substrate con concentration nothing is going to happen next we have is a uncompetitive inhibition uncompetitive inhibition is like very simple way just understand uncompetitive inhibition is that inhibition where <coughs> inhibitor bind to inhibitor bind to enzyme substrate complex right so here the question is only related to the competitive and non competitive inhibition now listen to this point very carefully the first one malonate is a competitive inhibitor of the succinate dehydrogen is it correct this is 100 p uh, 100% correct this is a inhibitor right for the succinate dehydrogenase now substrate bind to enzyme at its active site yes this is absolutely right it binds to the active site we are talking about the competitive inhibitor now addition of lot of succinate does not reverse the inhibition of succinate dehydrogenase by malonate Oh, it reverse it it reverse it so this statement is wrong i told you if you are going to increase the concentration of inhibitor or we are going to increase the concentration of the substrate suppose substrate concentration where we have increased now the product formation will increase so there will be see obvi obviously it is like the more army which is present uh, like the suppose a particular x company or uh, x country is having more army so that means that particular uh, country is going to win in a war this is that situation now this is also right option 
Yeah, you want to have a look at this inhibition? Let's have a look. So this is our how our enzyme look like succinate dehydrogenase. It binds to the succinate, right? Whenever it binds to the succinate, it forms a fumarate, a product it forms. Now next one is if enzyme it binds to the inhibitor, inhibitor is malonate. See, somewhere or other the structure looks the same. Only one carbon is absent. See? It looks same, it is going to compete, it is going to bind to the active site and once it is bind to the active site, there is no reaction, no product will, be, will occur. Clear? Clear? Clear buddies? Yes, everyone. Clear? Now, next one. Which one of the following statement is correct? Again guys, you have to look for a correct statement. Read this question and give me a correct answer in the comment section. Now, a nucleotide contain is correct. Oh, okay. The nucleotide contain a nitrogenous base and the sugar only. Amino acids are linked together by peptide bond. Ash contain only organic um, elements and compound. During tissue extraction, the filtrate is called acid insoluble fraction and the retentate is called acid soluble fraction. Guys, again, I'm telling you. This is a revision session. Take out your NCRT and just go through these topics and then give me answer in the comment section. It's okay. Take your time. Take your time. I'll explain you this question. Wait for some time. Try to explore your NCRT also. Okay. 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 I'll tell you. Now, a nucleotide contain. Here, the first option is nucleotide contain nitrogenous base and the sugar only. No. Nucleotide has nitrogenous base. It has nitrogenous base plus your sugar plus the phosphate. So this statement is wrong. We are looking for a correct statement. So this cannot be a right answer. Next one. Amino acid, they are linked together by peptide bond. Is it right? Very nice, Banshi. Correct answer. We have this option too. Absolutely right. Now let's explore other options also because exploring other options is going to help you in your NEET examination two days after this exam. Ash contains only organic uh, elements. No, it contains inorganic substances. Guys, it is clearly given in your NCRT. Ash, inorganic substances. Now next one, during tissue extraction, the filtrate is called acid insoluble. No. This is termed as acid soluble, not as acid insoluble. And the retentate is called acid insoluble. Insoluble. Clear? Everyone. <laughs> you really think? No, oh, Harshit. Uh, genetics is a very, very, very important unit. And questions, they come uh, directly from genetic and they're very easy also. They're quite easy. Clear? So it depends on the cutoff, Harshit. It depends on the cutoff. Anything to comment right now is very, uh, no, it won't be good. Because later on you'll be like, ma'am, I got this much marks, but I didn't get uh, selected in the, uh, I didn't get uh, any selection. Aditi, my name is not Chaya, my name is Chavi. C double H A V I. Chavi. Clear? Chalo. Oils remain liquid in winter. Right? There are oils, you know all the oils, they remain liquid in winters. Why do they remain liquid in winter? Why? Here I'll tell you the concept of saturated and unsaturated carbons. <coughs> okay. They are having a lower melting point. Is it right? Is it right? Yes. They are having a lower melting point. So that is the reason they are liquid at room temperature. Now, they contain unsaturated hydrocarbon. They have a single carbon-carbon bond. Now, again, guys, focus, focus. It is super important concept again. Now, here we are saying, they are saying they are having unsaturated carbon. Unsaturated carbon, that means the fatty acid chain, fatty acid chain is having what? Double bond. Is having double bond. Now, concept, look at this concept. Very interesting, guys. Yes, option 4 is correct. This is also wrong. Guys, this is right. I'll tell you the reason why. 
because whenever we have a double bond suppose a double bond is present in a fatty acid chain like this right a fatty acid chain and double bond is present now this double bond creates a kink kink in the chain due to which the proper packing does not occur some will be producing a kink so that is the reason they are liquid at room temperature and they are having a lower melting point so these are the chain suppose these are the chain these are chain or what these are the unsaturated unsaturated chain right because they are having double bond whereas whenever we talk about saturated whenever guys we talk about saturated hydrocarbon chain so in the saturated hydrocarbon that means there is no double bond so all the dna uh, sorry all the chain all the fatty acid chain they will be arranged closely like this so they will be tightly packed if they are tightly packed that means they are having a higher melting point for example the ghee whatever we use in our day to day life the ghee the desi ghee i don't know what do you call it the ghee which we obtain from our animals so that always remain uh, solid at room temperature the reason is they are rich in saturated hydrocarbons clear kunal clear piyush clear usma madi pranav yes so no one is going to do this mistake please remember whenever you are doing this topic whenever you are practicing with me make sure if any concept anything comes from this topic it should not be wrong it should be uh, like you should attempt in a proper way and you should give a proper answer so be attentive in the classes so whenever you need a break just let me know we'll take a break of the 10, 10 minutes we'll refresh and later on we'll move towards the other chapter now how many pair of the nucleotide are present in one helix of the b dna this is a one helix of the b dna here they are saying how many nucleotides are present in one turn b dna normally found dna is a b dna give me answer one turn of the dna what will be present in a one turn of the dna how many correct answer we have is 10 on an average it's not 10 but your ncert says 10 so correct answer is 10 it is 10.5 so that means in a one turn in a 360 degree turn from this turn to this turn this is a total one turn this is a total one turn how many a uh, nucleotide will be there pranav 10 ha obviously obviously harshit don't worry i'm going to give you a two hours break or the 10 hours break also you can take 10 clear so if you look at this whole turn you will find the 10 nucleotides are present clear jyoti clear karnel very nice yeah happy everyone going on the right track no hope this bio molecules you are also finding now now also you are finding bio molecules very easy okay next question following other statement with reference to the lipid you have to find out a correct answer read this question and give me correct answer in the comment section <coughs> the first is lipids have only single bond are called as unsaturated fatty acid <coughs> are they unsaturated fatty acid now lecithin is phospholipid trihydroxypropane is glycerol palmitic acid is 20 carbon atom including the carbo uh, carboxyl carbon arachidonic acid has 16 carbon you have to find out a correct answer guys we have discussed about the first point i will be discuss discussing rest of the topics just look at the first option and tell me is it right good going good going madi very nice very nice madi correct answer we have is option b these two options they are correct rest all are incorrect lipids having only single bond they will be termed as saturated not unsaturated they are saturated why why do doctor says that we should not consume saturated fatty acid because they remain solid at room temperature very nice what is lecithin is a phospholipid yes there are various kinds of phospholipids like phosphatidylcholine phosphatidylinositol phosphatidyl uh, ethylenamine phosphatidylserine these are derived lipids right the phosphate derived lipid trihydroxypropane is glycerol right what is the structure of glycerol ch2 oh then we have is a ch oh then again we have is a ch2 oh this is a uh, this is a glycerol this is a structure of glycerol this is absolutely right you guys are more intelligent in chemistry than your chavi ma'am palmitic acid they are saying 20 carbon no it has 16 carbon arachidonic acid has 20 carbon 
Clear? So B and C options, they are correct. Clear? Clear all my buddies? Yes. All my doctors, guys, future doctors. Come on. I want energy in this session. If you want to drink coffee, you want to take coffee, do it. Just be active. We are going to complete whole zoology in this session. You should be active like Chavi ma'am. I am standing from last one and a half hours and I will be standing for your whole session. And I'll be taking your session like this. So this type of energy I want in all my students. Because later on, after some time, after seventh, once you're selected in NEET, you um, might be chances that you will be performing some surgeries which will last for six hours or the seven hours. So that, that should be your motivation. Correct answer we have is lysine. Yes, lysine is a very good example of the basic amino acid. Guys, in these four options, there is one uh, amino acid. There is one amino acid which is aromatic amino acid. Give me answer in the comment section. Come on. Aromatic amino acid. Give me answer in the comment section. Everybody, come on. Yes. This is a aromatic, very nice. Tyrosine is an aromatic amino acid. What's the another name of, uh, what is the another aromatic amino acid? Very nice, Maddie. That is your phenylalanine. Here, yes, no one is going to do this mistake. Aliphatic example we have is a valine. This is an acid containing amino acid. Now, let's move on to the next question. One of the very easy question. Everyone, everyone, just be active and give me answer in the comment section now. Which one of the following statement is correct with reference to the enzyme? Correct statement you have to find out. Apoenzyme, holoenzyme plus coenzyme. Holoenzyme, apoenzyme, coenzyme, coenzyme, apoenzyme, holoenzyme, holoenzyme, coenzyme, cofactor. What will be the right answer? Come on, everyone. Come on. What will be the right answer? Think about it. Correct answer we have is option two. A very good, very nice. So option two is a correct answer. Example of a holoenzyme, RNA polymerase, DNA polymerases. These are the polymerases, so they are containing various subunits. They cannot, they are having a protein part also, they are having a non-protein part also. Good going. Now, next question, which of the following statement is incorrect? Again, you have to find out incorrect statement. Now, tell me, come on, come on, come on. The competitive inhibitor does not affect the rate of breakdown of enzyme substrate complex. The competitive inhibitor does not affect the rate of breakdown of enzyme substrate complex. The presence of competitive inhibitor decreases the KM of the enzyme of the substrate. A competitive inhibitor reacts with the enzyme to form an enzyme inhibitor complex. In competitive inhibition, the inhibitor molecule is not chemically changed by enzyme. What is the right answer? <clears throat> Come on. No, 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 no. I'll tell you, Akir, I'll tell you what uh, you're saying, ma'am, if tRNA picks up the amino acid automatically, then why do we need to take essential amino acid in your diet? Guys, tRNA picks up amino acid on the basis of those codon and the anti-codon sequence. It doesn't pick up this uh, randomly. So we have to take this essential amino acid in our diet. Here. And basically, students, these amino acid, they, they do not take it randomly. Student, who, who told you that they take up randomly? It's a sequence which is present in them. Correct answer. Tell me correct answer. What will the correct answer? Correct answer we have is option 2. So, competitive inhibitor does not decrease, it increases the KM value. It increases the first option. The competitive inhibitor does not affect? Yes, it doesn't affect because it binds to the enzyme. It has nothing related to the enzyme substrate complex. The competitive inhibitor reacts with the enzyme to form an enzyme inhibitor complex. Absolutely right. Now, competitive inhibitor, the inhibitor molecule is not chemically changed. They are not going to change the chemical, uh, they are not going to change the chemical nature. So, which option is wrong? Option 2 is wrong. Clear? Clear everyone? Now, 
a phosphoglyceride is always made up of one of the example of the phosphoglyceride example lecithin you remember this is always made up of what is it made up of a saturated unsaturated fatty acid esterified to a phosphate group which is also attached to glycerol molecule only a saturated fatty acid is esterified to a glycerol molecule to which a phosphate group is also attached clear next one we have is only a unsaturated fatty acid read, read this question then i am going to give you a correct answer read this properly read this properly guys everyone correct answer we have is option 4 option 4 clear now unsaturated that means on a glycerol either a saturated or unsaturated fatty acid will be attached along with that there will be a phosphate group phosphate group will be attached to a derived alcohol here saturated or unsaturated fatty acid esterified to a glycerol that means glycerol is attached to these fatty acid chain through the help of aster bond and on which one phosphate group is attached now here the confusion part i'll tell you is option 1 and option 4 in the option 1 here it is written and esterified to a phosphate group. They are not esterified to a phosphate group buddies. They are esterified to a glycerol. Right? So here we have one fatty acid chain attached like this. Another fatty acid chain like attached like this. In the third one, the phosphate group and then alcohol group is attached like this. Clear? Yeah? Yes. Good. 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 Good going everyone. Clear? Yeah? Correct answer we have is option 4. Now, next one. Which of the following is the most abundant protein in animals? This is the most abundant protein in animals. Give me answer in the comment section. The most abundant, very easy question. Collagen, lecith, uh, lectins, we have insulin or hemoglobin. What is, the, what is the most abundant in animals? Here we are saying animals, not in the whole world universe i'm not talking about it correct answer we have is the collagen right good going good going maddie very nice correct answer we have is a collagen guys if you know about it that is well and good if you do not have any idea regarding this just note it down in your notebook these are the important uh, questions these are the, some important concepts which i want all my buddies all my students they should remember on the day of the examination after that just forget everything but at least in seven, just keep these things in your mind. Not insulin. Why insulin? Okay. Now, identify the substance having a glycosidic bond and a peptide bond respectively. That means there are some options given. In one of the option, in the first option, there should be glycosidic bond. And in the second option, the peptide bond should be there. Come on, everybody. Come on. Come on, my future doctors. Come on. Be active in the chat box. First option will be having a glycosidic bond and the second option will be having a peptide bond. Very nice. Come on. Very nice. Correct answer we have is inulin and insulin. Did you know about it or it is like uh, a guess? Was it a guess or did you know about it? <laughs> great, great, great. Correct answer we have is option 3. Good going, buddies. Good, good, good going. And means you are on the right track. Everyone, good going. Inulin is having a glycosidic bond, whereas insulin, you all know, this is, yes, it is there in the NCRT. Very nice. So, insulin, you know, uh, inulin is given to lower the cholesterol level in the blood. Moving on to the next, we have is a digestion and absorption. Guys, till now we have completed 57 questions. 57 questions almost we have completed. What was your score? Then we are moving towards your th fourth chapter. Three chapters they are completed. Fourth chapter. Yes. <coughs> Come on. Everyone. Tell me in the comment section. Tell me in the comment section. Digestion and absorption. 57 questions we have completed till now. 
होप यस योर फेवरेट टॉपिक ह्यूमन फिजियोलॉजी हैज स्टार्टेड very nice good 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 now first question vomiting center is located in see the first question itself is very yuck vomiting center so where is the vomiting center located where is the vomiting center located pons cerebrum cerebellum medulla where is the vomiting center located where do we have vomiting center correct answer we have is the medulla oblongata yes in the medulla oblongata vomiting center is located so moving on to the next ejection of stomach contents see <laughs> i i uh, please try to understand first two questions they are very yucky okay now tell me the ejection of stomach content through mouth is termed as this is termed as vomiting right so that is termed as vomiting now moving on to the next now very important questions like this question is related to your practice which you will be doing in your uh, mbbs or after the mbbs once you will be doctor once you will be doctor so you will be treating patients on the basis of the symptom so you have to give me a correct answer for this let's have a look a patient is advised especially to consume more meat lentils eggs in the diet when the patient is suffering from come on come on come on come on buddies kashi orkar scurvy rickets anemia what is the right answer very nice correct answer we have is kashi orkar protein deficiency overall muscle development will be very less in these uh, patients scurvy is due to vitamin c deficiency rickets is due to the vitamin d anemia is related to hemoglobin hemoglobin deficiency here yeah? yes what will you prescribe them you will prescribe them to have more protein in the diet for their muscle development overall height of these uh, uh, kids they are also very less so they are short to muscle development now next most digestion absorption take place in where does the digestion and absorption mostly digestion and absorption occur tell me no uh, matty all questions they are not pyqs uh i am including all the topics which are there in the ncert there are many questions they are pyq but many questions there are other also because i have to include each and every topic of the ncert uh, 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 what's the right answer very nice correct answer we have is a small intestine small intestine is a place where major digestion major absorption occur clear now part of elementary canal meant for the re reabsorption of water from the chyle reabsorption of water from the chyle directly given in the ncert come on everyone is it a small intestine is a colon it's a mouth or the rectum come on come on come on what will be the right answer one small intestine colon mouth or the rectum this is a place where absorption of the water of the chyle occur correct answer very nice correct answer we have is the colon right colon here yeah, very nice now let's move on to the next absence of enterokinase will affect which of the following process when we have the enterokinase this is an enzyme enterokinase is not there what will be affected take out your ncert in ncert this diag this uh, a sequence a name react a reaction kind of thing is give given give me answer in the comment section what will be the right answer we are talking about the enterokinase take your time take out take out your ncert i told you enterokinase i'll tell you i'll give you one 50 50 hint whenever we talk about the enterokinase enterokinase is a one which helps in digestion of protein think about it digestion of proteins digestion of protein right so that means two option can be correct option 2 and option come on two options are there <coughs> what will be the right answer ram trypsin is required for proteosis tripeptide 
वेरी नाइस ऑप्शन टू इज करेक्ट नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच सेट ऑफ ऑर्गन एंड हिस्टोलॉजिकल स्ट्रक्चर आर प्रेजेंट इन द करेक्ट ऑर्डर राइट इन द ऑर्गन करेक्ट स्ट्रक्चर इज प्रेजेंट टेल मी स्टमक इंटेस्टाइन लंग किडनी सो इन दिस वेरियस स्ट्रक्चर आर गिवन फर्स्ट वी हैव इज अ गॉबलेट सेल्स वी हैव इज अ ब्रूनर्स क्लैंड एंड वी हैव इज अ जाइमोजन सेल्स इंटेस्टाइन द गॉबलेट सेल्स द क्रिप्ट ऑफ लेबरकन वी हैव इज अ सब म्यूकोसा लंग वोकल सैग ब्रॉन्क्यूल्स ब्रॉन्कस किडनी ग्लोमेरुलस एलविलाई इन द लूप ऑफ हेनले करेक्ट यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट अ करेक्ट आंसर आई टेल यू इन द स्टमक stomach the first one is given as a goblet cells goblet cells are present in stomach bruner's gland intestine jaimogen cells yes intestine goblet cells crypts of leberkan and the some mucosa absolutely right lung vocal sac i am able to speak because of the vocal sac only but it is not a part of the lung so bronchus and the primary and the secondary bronchus and the terminal bronchioles everything comes under the lungs this is right So this is wrong. Kidney glomerulus alveoli part of the lung. This is a part of the kidney. This is also a part of the kidney. Correct answer we have is option two. Correct option is option two. Clear? Yes. Buddies, clear everyone. Option two is a correct one. So what is the function of this goblet cells? It secretes mucus. crypts of leberkan i showed you the diagram also those depressions they are the crypts they are the crypts now next one is a sub mucosa mucosa sub mucosa they are present the correct answer we have is option option 2 now moving on to the next ph of succus entericus succus entericus ph directly given in the ncert what is the ph pH is seven point eight. From seven point six to eight, pH is there. They are alkaline. Why they are alkaline? Because they have to neutralize the food which is coming from the stomach, which is acidic. So they are alkaline. Here, correct answer we have is seven point eight. Did you guess uh, it the same? Yes. Very nice. Good. Good. Next one. structural functional unit of liver are called structural functional unit of liver <coughs> and this is the place and this is a uh, particular question where many students they get confused that ma'am structural and functional unit they, are, they say that ma'am these are the hepatocytes or the hepatic cells these are not hepatocytes i'll tell you so in the liver these hepatocytes are present absolutely right i'll explain you this concept just wait for some time this is how a structure look like these are the hepatocyte cells present wait i'll explain you this in a better way so that you'll be able to understand the hepatic portal system also so here the vein the hepatic vein is present hepatic vein right hepatic central vein is present yes correct answer we have is hepatic here we have is lobule correct answer we have is option 4 so students these are lobules these are the hepatic lobules right they are covered with gleason's corpuscles right here they are covered with the gleason's corpuscles connective tissue layer Gleason's corpuscles. <coughs> right here, triad is present. Hepatic triad. Hepatic triad. 
hepatic triad so hepatic triad is having what hepatic triad has hepatic vein hepatic portal vein hepatic portal vein triad that means three things will be present over here second one is a bile duct and hepatic artery hepatic artery clear 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 buddies clear so this is how uh, the structure look like now question come lesions capsules is it clear the one which is covered hepatic cells these are the hepatic cells <coughs> these are the hepatic cells now comes hepatic cords so they form some cord like structure like this these are formed by the hepatocytes only cords hepatic cords These are the hepatic cord. Clear? Clear, buddies? Yes, everyone. Clear this concept? Now, let's move on to the next question. How many human teeth appear twice during the lifespan of individual? How many teeth they appear twice during the life of an individual? <coughs> come on, come on, come on. Yes, definitely you will get good marks in zoology. Just, just be with me. Just bear your chavi ma'am for some, uh, for some hours. Just bear with chavi ma'am. That ma'am, we are going to bear you for another two to three hours. And with this, we will be able to complete the whole zoology part. And if you will be able to complete the zoology part, I am telling you, I have covered all the concept and I will make sure uh, that uh, this, this is going to be a super revision for everyone. Now, what is the correct answer? Correct answer, the one which appeared twice, that is 20. 20 appeared twice. Right? Yeah, I'll tell you. Now, in a human dentition, that means in the primary teeth. Primary teeth. So, primary teeth is what? 2102 upon 2102. So, that means how many teeth are there? 20. So, in total, we multiply it with 2, it will come out to be 20. Don't, don't, do not apply here the normal mathematics. This is just a calculation in the various halves. Here, yeah. now in the secondary, secondary dentition. Total number of the teeth which comes is 2, 1, 2, 3 upon 2, 1, 2, 3. Multiply by 2, it will come out to be 32. So, these are the teeth which are replaced and 12 teeth are those teeth which comes only once. That means, listen very carefully, 20 teeth are those which are diophyodont. These are diophyodont. They come twice. Whereas, when we talk about these, uh, rest of the 12 teeth, 12 teeth, they are monophyodont. Monophyodont. Monophyodont, that means they are going to come only once. They are going to come only once. So, primary dentition and secondary dentition is clear. First, 20 teeth come in which we have third molar doesn't come. So, that question can also be asked that which type of teeth is absent in primary dentition. So, you should know there's, there is no premolar, no premolar or no third molar, no third molar, right? Third molar is also termed as the wisdom teeth. So, if someone asks you that what type of dentition is present in human, in human uh, uh, mouth, you should know the monophyodont teeth are also there, the diphyodont teeth are also there. So, monophyodonts, they are what? The premolars and the third molar is monophyodont because it comes only once. Clear? Yeah? Now, moving on to the next. Pulp cavity of tooth is lined by. Guys, this is a pulp cavity. This is lined by dash. And it helps in the formation of the dentine. What is the name? Amyloblast, chondroblast, osteoblast, odontoblast. Tell me correct answer. Correct answer we have is option 4. So, 
so these are the in the pulp here the cells are present which helps in the formation of the dentin right or dento uh, blast cells they helps in the formation of the dentin here yeah, option 4 guys not option 3 osteoblast not osteoblast here yeah? now next one wisdom teeth is i have talked about it wisdom teeth what are these wisdom teeth come on wisdom teeth third molar four in number third molar two in number second molar four in number second molar two in number wisdom teeth what is the wisdom teeth wisdom teeth so wisdom teeth is your third molar what is this wisdom teeth is your third molar and they are four in number one two three and four one two three and four clear clear everyone now next one identify the correct statement with reference to the human digestive system you have to select the correct statement buddies come on serosa is the innermost layer of alimentary canal ileum is a highly coiled part vermiform appendix they arise from duodenum ileum opens into small intestine come on everyone answer in the comment section guys be active what are you doing come on everyone just be active lots of questions lots uh, lots and lots of questions are left come on come on come on very nice direct line from ncert ileum is a highly coiled part let's have a look at the other options also they are saying serosa uh, is the innermost is the serosa innermost no it is the mucosa which is innermost vermiform appendix they arise from duodenum no they arise from the large intestine the cecum next one ileum opens into small intestine no large intestine here Yes, good Vishnu, good Akira, good Surya, Bhanshi, Madi. Come on, very nice. Good going, everyone. Come on. Next question. Proteolytic enzyme renin is found in uh, that enzyme which helps in digestion of milk protein, which is casein. This is secreted by dash. It well, means it is present where in the bile juice. in the gastric juice in the pancreatic juice or in the intestinal juice what is the right answer come on everyone come on correct answer we have is the gastric juice yes in the gastric juice the renin is there you know there are babies who whenever they puke they take out curdled milk so whenever they take out curdled milk doctor always say that it is so good that they have taken that means the renin is functioning properly renin helps in digestion of milk protein in infants come on very nice very nice now intrinsic factor that help in re re uh, absorption of vitamin b12 is secreted by intrinsic factor intrinsic factor there is castle intrinsic factor and castle intrinsic factor help in absorption of vitamin b12 and if this factor doesn't work in that case the person suffer from macrocytic anemia and this is secreted by whom this is secreted by the auxentic cell this is secreted by auxentic cell just write it down guys write it down in your notebook that vitamin b12 deficiency vitamin b12 deficiency leads to leads to perni let leads to macrocytic anemia this is also a kind of anemia macrocytic anemia yes pernicious anemia right pernicious anemia macrocytic anemia now next question identify the cell whose secretion protects the lining of gastrointestinal tract from various enzyme what is the right answer right answer we have is the goblet cells yes 
the goblet cells goblet cells helps it right am i right do you agree to this point if yes then give me thumbs up in the comment section if you are also on the right track guys i need thumbs up in the comment section come on everyone be active good madi good nandetha yes it produces mucus it protects the lining of the intestine from the acidic food coming from the stomach come on very nice akash very nice vishnu very nice ushma very well done okay tell me what is the doubt student this question what is the doubt buddy what is the doubt tell me sadav what is the doubt in this question good going good going are you enjoying are you having fun see two hours has been passed now we have reached up to the human physiology first chapter which is your digestion and absorption and once you're done with the human physiology once we'll complete the human physiology we'll take a break every time it is like you need a break you need a break why you guys are at least sitting think about think about me and i'm 100% sure you guys are not thinking about me you're thinking about yourself because you have to eat or you have to go somewhere i don't know what you have to do right now your focus should be the neat examination the two days two days are those where just do not sleep focus on your studies and just 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 think about the examination and after this at least uh, like after that you'll get lot of time to sleep now again my favorite question some options are there which we have to match and you have to find out a correct answer select the correct option from the given below crypts of labor cord where are these present crypts crypts these are the small intestine gleason's capsules these are present in the liver we have already discussed about it yes come on next one islets of langerhans islets of langerhans these are the cells in the pancreas which secretes the hormone now bruner's glands they are present in the duodenum very important some mucosa of duodenum we have is a bruner's gland one very nice but is very nice what's the right answer option c are you sure yes option c is correct come on good good going good going everyone be motivated be positive we have to complete zoology today come on let's move on to the next question which of the following statement is not correct we have to find out again a incorrect option the first one oxyntic cells are present in the mucosa of stomach and secrete hcl oh my god is it right now next one acini are present in the pancreas secrete carboxypeptidases Bruner's gland present in the submucosa of the stomach and the secrete pepsinogen. <coughs> Goblet cells are present in the mucosa of intestine and secrete mucus. Come on, come on, everyone. What's the right answer? Yes. So correct answer we have over here. We have to look for a not correct answer. The correct answer incorrect. That means option three is correct. Bruner's gland. Where are we going to find Bruner's gland? In the duodenum. That is in the some mucosa small intestine how can you say stomach there is a major sin you are going to do if you, if you are going to uh, not going to take this answer now guys one more chapter down four chapters are completed next chapter we have is breathing and the exchange of gases are you ready are you ready of uh, chapter number uh, chapter number 4 yes we have completed animal kingdom we have completed your biomolecules along with the after biomolecules we have completed digestion and absorption structure organization this is a fifth chapter right fourth chapter completed fifth chapter breathing and exchange of gases take a breath take a chill pill and then let's move towards another chapter favorite chapter let's have a look how many answer you are going to give vishnu yes come on breathing and exchange of gases the first question very important question directly from the regulation itself regulation of respiration super important topic first one which of the following specialized center this is the line from your ncert come on primarily responsible for regulation of respiratory rhythm 
chemosensitive area, respiratory rhythm center, pneumotaxic center, receptor associated with aortic arch or car carotid artery. Come on. Come on, everyone. Primarily center. Very nice. No, 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 not the third option. Not the third option, Banshee. Correct answer we have is respiratory rhythm center. Respiratory rhythm center is present in medulla. Right? Pneumotaxic center also helps. But the major center is respiratory rhythm center. Where is this pneumotaxic uh, center present? It is present in the pons region. Clear? Now, receptors associated with aortic arch and ca carotid arteries, it detects the H plus ion and carbon dioxide concentration in the blood. Accordingly, they send a signal to the respiratory rhythm center. Clear? So, basically, they control the inspiration part, not the expiration. They help in contraction of the external intercostal muscle so that inspiration can be regulated. Clear buddies, it is a respiratory rhythm center. Just tattoo yourself. Do not forget. Very important question from this chapter. It's a regulation, super important. Please listen. Respiratory rhythm center. Come on. Let's move on to the next question. Blue baby syndrome. That means a baby somehow turns blue. Not whole blue, that means some part of the skin they become blue. What's the reason behind it? Methanoglobin, uh, excess of dissolved oxygen, excess of TDS, excess of chloride. What's the right answer? Blue baby syndrome. This is because of methanoglobin. Here, yeah, methanoglobin is the right answer. This is because of the nitrate and whenever such type of symptoms occur, <coughs> whenever such type of symptom is seen, uh, uh, like parents, they are advised to rush to nearby hospital. Yeah? Yes. Very nice. Come on. Moving on to the next question. Come on. Next question also from the NCRT. This topic is directly given in the NCRT. Ah, yes. Very nice. Come on, come on, come on. Blood carries carbon dioxide in three forms. We all know about it. The correct percentage of COT in these forms. Three ways by which carbon dioxide travels in the blood. The first one is carb amino hemoglobin. Second one in the form of bicarbonate ion, HCO3 negative. And third in the draw, dissolved form in the plasma. Exact percentage you have to tell me. Right? Uh, very nice. Correct answer we have is option one. Carb amino hemoglobin, it, uh, the uh, carbon dioxide travel in the form of carb amino hemoglobin 20 to 25 percent. Major travel occur because of the presence of enzyme that is carbonic anhydrase. 70 to 80 percent travel occur in this form, and the next one, 7 percent form uh, occur in the dissolved plasma form. Clear? Yes. Clear? Now, next one. Diffusion of oxygen in the tissue of the cockroach occurs through diffusion. Think about this question. What we are saying is diffusion of oxygen in the tissues. Oxygen dissociation in the tissues of the cockroach occurs through blood integument trachea tracheoles. Which part of the tracheal system they are in directly contact with the tissue? Correct answer we have is the tracheoles. So they are open to the outside on the lateral side with the help of the spiracles. From where the oxygen travels, it enters into the trachea. From trachea, it enters into the tracheoles. These tracheoles, they are in directly contact with the body tissues in the body organs. Clear? Correct answer we have is the tracheoles. Yes, Maddie. Yes, Akira. Very good. Very good. Option one. So both Jyoti. Very nice. It is the tracheole. So just look at the concept. Like uh, the one thing which you should learn from this question is many times students they will be like, ma'am, it is the tracheal system. So trachea can be a correct answer. Look at this question, read this question. They are saying from in the tissue how they are delivered with the help of tracheal. Good, Subodh? Is it clear? Now, moving on to the next. Left lung of the human has two lobe, four lobe, three lobe, five lobe. What is the right answer? We are talking about the left lobe, not the right lobe, left lobe. Very easy. This is already given in the NCRT. Lobe, how many lobes are there? There is a difference. One of the one of the heart, oh sorry. <laughs> one of the lung is having three lobe and another lung is having the two lobe. What is the right answer? Here they are asking the left lung. 
Think about it. Let me uh, drink some water. Think about it, guys. Hmm. Yes. Correct answer we have is a two lobe. So left lung is having two lobes. Two lobes are there in the left lung. Whereas in the right uh, lung, the three lobes are there. This is the difference. Note it down. Right now, note it down in your notebook. The three lungs. And do tell me whether you note it down or yes or not. Please remember, in the left lung, there are two lobes. Whereas in the right lung, there are three lobes. Now next, PCO2 that is the partial pressure of the carbon uh, dioxide of a deoxygenated blood of a person is 48 mm of Hg in this condition. 48 mm of Hg is there. Uh, uh, uh. Now, person experienced deep breathing and slow breathing rate. Person experienced no change in the breathing pattern. His oxygen dissociation curve remains shifted towards the left. His oxygen dissociation uh, curve remains shifted towards the right. What is happening is the PCO2 level is high. Higher PCO2 level. Look at this diagram. Look at this chart. Oh, sorry, graph. Now, this is how oxygen dissociation curve looks like. What will happen, Akira? Come on, everyone. What will happen, Ankush? Come on, think about it. This is an oxygen dissociation curve. Think about it, guys. Think about it, Akash. Do not be hurry. Just give answer. Now, when we have is high PCO2. The shift is, this is shifted towards the right. This is shifted towards the right. You remember? And whenever there is H plus ion, Sorry. Clear? Yeah. Yes. Whereas when we have a third one, I'll write it down here. This is a right shift. This is a left shift. When we have is low PCO2. Clear everyone? Yes. Come on everyone, tell me in the comment section. Shift right, yes. So, when we have is a pH increases, right, in that case also shift towards the right, if the pH uh, decreases, it shifts to, uh, shift towards the left. Yeah, D for doctor, yes, right answer we have is option D. Now, after adding inspiratory capacity, now listen, listen, after adding high temperature, high temperature, yes, will also shift the curve towards the right. Now, next one. After adding inspiratory capacity and functional residual capacity, if we subtract the residual volume, then what do we obtain? What's the right answer? We have is the option 4. Clear? Correct answer we have is a vital capacity. Is it clear? Clear? Uh, one second. What did I write? Huh, pH decreases. Here, one second. pH decreases. Make it opposite. pH decreases and pH increases. Now, what is the right answer? The vital capacity. Ha, ha, ha. Acidic character. Rest. Right, right, right. Here. So, correct answer. Here we have is a vital capacity. See, what we are doing is we are adding inspiratory capacity with a functional residual capacity. Inspiratory capacity plus functional residual capacity. Right? And what we are doing is we are subtracting this with the residual volume. Residual volume. So, what do we get is the vital capacity. Yeah, vital capacity. Now, let's move on to the next question. Total lung capacity. What is what do you mean by total lung capacity? Total lung capacity, total capacity of a lung is a total volume of air accommodated in the lungs at the end of the forced inspiration. What does it, it include? It includes everything. It includes reserve volume, residual volume, expiratory reserve volume, the tidal volume and inspiratory reserve volume. Clear? It includes everything. Clear buddies, option 3 is correct over here. Now, 
Moving on to the next. <coughs> very, very, very important. This is a common condition right now in Delhi, I'll tell you. Pollution level is so high that even a person who is not asthmatic, he or she is also fe feeling breathlessness. What is the reason behind it? What is the reason behind the high pollution? Due to increasing airborne allergen pollutant, many people in the urban areas are suffering from respiratory disorder causing wheezing due to benigno growth on the mucus lining of the nasal cavity, inflammation of the bronchi and the bronchiole, proliferation of the fibrous tissue and damage of the alveolar wall, reduction in the secretion of the surfactant by pneumosis. What is the right answer? Come on everyone. Correct answer we have is inflammation. That means inflammation of the bronchi. Bronchi, they are inflamed, right? Inflammation has occurred uh, uh, in them due to which the overall exchange, yani ki surfa uh, that means surface area exchange has been reduced. If that has been reduced, then there will be problem in the breathing. It's option two, buddies. Fatima, very nice option two. Anushya, very nice option two. Ankush, not option three, option two is the correct answer. This is the same condition in the asthma also. Inflammation of the bronchi and the bronchioles. Here, yeah, we are everyone. Hope you are. Okay, now guys, uh, tell me what is the uh, weather, um, I mean to say pollution level in your city. What is the pollution level in your city? Then if I talk about Delhi, it is very uh, hazardous. <coughs> Come on. Come on, come on, come on, everyone. Okay, this is because of the increasing airborne allergens. See, we are talking about here the allergy also. But when we talk about like silica, silica causes fibrosis right it causes the formation of these fibroids so that is because of the silica here yeah? the proliferation this is because of that here we are talking about guys allergens also moderate oh my god here also if i say it is it has it has crossed 120 130 it's a very quite normal yes in fact not uh, um, uh, 100 cigarettes it's more than 100 cigarettes so, so both there's a passive, you know, um, if I, uh, there was one question in the board also, like, uh, uh, which one is more injurious to health? Passive smoking or active smoking? It is a passive smoking, you know, because here our will is not invo involved. We are just inhaling everything. See, those who are taking cigarette, they are dying because of their own problem, because of their own habit. But we are, we are not uh, smoking. I think it is good in Chennai. Very nice. Ha, passive is very much harmful. Okay. Great. Come on. Now let's move on to the next question. Identify the wrong statement with reference to the transport of oxygen. You have to identify the wrong statement. Here. Yeah? Partial pressure of carbon dioxide can interfere with the oxygen binding with the hemoglobin. Absolutely right. More the partial pressure, more PCO2. So that means it is going to affect the oxygen binding. Right? It will not allow oxygen to bind to hemoglobin. Absolutely right. Very nice. Good in Kashmir, so definitely it uh, has to be good. Chandigarh. So many students, they are from Chandigarh, right? Like Chandigarh is not that far. It is near to Delhi only, just to three to four hour drive. <laughs> so this is asking, ma'am, from where are we going to get the numericals? And that is the only one topic we have. That is the hardy weinberg equilibrium. We will be discussing those questions also. Now next is higher H plus ion concentration in alveoli favors the formation of oxyhemoglobin. They are saying when we have is a higher H plus ion concentration. So higher H plus ion concentration, yes, this is absolutely right. <coughs> it is going to favor the formation of this. Low PCO2 in the alveoli favors the formation of oxyhemoglobin, absolutely binding oxygen with the hemoglobin mainly related to the partial pressure. Absolutely. Correct answer we have is option two. Now next one. Now select the correct event. Very nice. 
ओ माई गॉड अच्छा गाइज वेर आर यू फ्रॉम लाइक आई टेल यू आई एम फ्रॉम डेली मेरी स्टूडेंट्स दे आर फ्रॉम कश्मीर वी हैव अ स्टूडेंट फ्रॉम चेन्नई ऑल्सो वी हैव स्टूडेंट फ्रॉम मनाली वेरी नाइस ओ माई गॉड वी हैव हाँ राइट कम ऑन कम ऑन कम ऑन वेर आर यू फ्रॉम वेस्ट बेंगाल दैट इज नाइस So we have uh, student from all over the world. Now, to uh, select the correct event, up uh, you have to select from the during the process of inspiration. Here, yeah? contraction of diaphragm, contraction of external intercostal muscle, pulmonary volume decreases, intrapulmonary pressure de increases. See, this is right. This is also right. The contraction occur during the process of inspiration. Pulmonary volume increases, not decreases. So this is wrong. the so next one intrapulmonary pressure this also decreases because intrapulmonary pressure decreases that is the reason uh, the air gush into the lungs we are talking about the inspiration very nice good good here yeah? so what is the correct answer ankush correct answer we have is option 1 and 2 option 4 is correct clear yeah? good buddy is good <coughs> now let's move on to the chapter body fluid and circulation hope this chapter a previous chapter is uh, clear any doubt you have related to that chapter you can ask me i'll take up your doubt and then we'll move towards the next chapter which is your body fluid and circulation what did i select yes option 1 and 2 option 4 right any topic any doubt you have Clear? Now, let's move on to the next chapter, which is a body fluid and circulation. See, so many chapters again we have completed. We are moving towards your heart. We are discussing now your heart. Clear? Very nice. Come on, body fluid and circulation. Where I will be discussing structure of heart, the problems which is related to the heart. The ECG is one of the super important topic. Guys, just write it down right now. ECG super important topic. Keep that in mind. keep that in mind and definitely one question will directly come from ecg now if a person has two chambered heart one atrium and one ventricle when the vena cava entering the atrium right what they are saying is we have a heart and it has one atrium and it has a one ventricle here now with the vena cava entering the atrium we have is the vena cava entering the atrium okay we have is aorta leaving the atrium right so what which statement would be correct which statement would be correct the first one no oxygen would reach the cell no blood would will reach the head and the neck blood will be unable to carry food to the cells there will be no blood to the cells correct answer we have is option 1 very nice option 1 is a correct one why because here you can see the deoxygenated blood see from here the deoxygenated blood is coming and from the ventricle the deoxygenated blood is supplying to the body cell to the body cell here the pulmonary respiration is not happening pulmonary circulation is not happening so what will happen all the tissue or everything is going to form in the right clear clear buddies yes everyone clear now let's move on to the next question x is a fibrous tissue of the membranous septum of the heart just below the septal cusp of the tricuspid wall clear it's a tricuspid wall it separates the atrium and the ventricle of the same side identify x come on everyone identify x <coughs> let me drink some water right 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 so which one did we select at that time one second 
Um, my student lent is a dental apparatus found in the echino echinoid. Absolutely right, in the echinodermata. What did we select? I guess we selected echinodermata only, right? What did we select? Echinodermata? One second, let me check. I guess we selected echinodermata only, students. Uh, uh, uh. One second. Yeah, in this, uh, okay, we selected mollusca. So, correct answer we have is echinodermata, not mollusca. Right? It is present in echinodermata. Echinoidea. Echinodermata. Clear? Just make this correction. It is a echinodermata, not mollusca. Okay? Right? Clear? Okay. Aristotle Lenton. <coughs> Now, 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 let's move on to the next question. Where are we? Okay. Yes. So, what is this present? It is present between the atria and the ventricle. So, what's the right answer? Atrioventricular septum. Where it is present? Atrioventricular septum. Here? Yeah? Yes. In echinodermata, guys, just make this correction. In echinodermata, we have is the, the Aristotle lenter. A person suffer from, now listen very carefully, a person suffer from slow delayed blood clotting leading to excessive loss of blood from the body. Which of the following can be probable reason for this? Thrombocytosis, thrombocytopenia, defect in the synthesis of calcium intrinsic factor, defect in absorption and the storage of the folic acid. What will be the right answer? Come on everyone, what will be the right answer? Here we are saying, that delayed blood clotting is happening. Delayed blood clotting, that means blood is not able to clot. And which, is, which one is responsible for the clotting mechanism? The platelets. So if that is not happening, that means platelet number has been reduced. What is the name behind that reduction in the uh, platelet number? What is the name? Is it a thrombocytosis? Is it a thrombocytopenia? Next one, we have is a defect in the synthesis of the calcium intrinsic factor. Defect in the absorption and the storage of the folic acid. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, everybody. Come on. I'm waiting for your answer in the comment section. We are talking about reduction. <coughs> we are talking about the reduction. What is that? Very nice. Correct answer we have is thrombocytopenia. That means reduction in the platelet. Reduction in platelet. Whereas when we talk about the thrombocytosis, thrombocytosis that means increase. That means uh, increase has been occur. Yeah. Now next one. What will happen if the neuromuscular conduction pathway in a heart is broken between the AC node and the AV node? You know, whenever we talk about the conduction of nerve impulse, it starts with the SA node and then it moves towards the AV node. And from the Purkinje fibers, it uh, travels towards the ventricles. Now, here they are saying the neuromuscular conduction between the SA node, this conduction from the SA node to AV node has been stopped. Now, listen very carefully. SA node, the self-excitatory cells are there. They generate the action potential from around 70 to 75 beats. Right? AV node also generate. Here also the self-excitatory cells are there, but the excitation is less. Here they are saying the communication between the SA node and the AV node has been affected. What will happen? Auricles will contract due to impulse generated from the SA node, while ventricle will not show any activity. Ventricle will also show the activity because this is present. The AV node is working. Those person whose SA node is not working, it doesn't mean their heart will not function. They will function but at a very slow rate. The conduction will be very less. Now, no contraction, contraction will be there. Auricle will contract at the rate set by the SA node, while the ventricle will contract the rate impulse generated by the AV node. Option 3 is the correct one. Always remember, it's not only the SA node, the AV node also plays a very important role for the transmission as well as generation of nerve impulse. Clear? Clear? No, ventricle will also show the contraction because you know the AV node is working. AV nodes also generate. Yes, Rakesh, absolutely right. 
ऑरिकल्स विल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एब्सोल्युटली राइट राकेश एब्सोल्युटली राइट ऑप्शन व्हिच वन द थ्री इज करेक्ट नॉट द डी नॉट द डी इट इज ऑप्शन थ्री नाउ इन द हार्ट एज द एक्शन पोटेंशियल रीचेज द ए वी नोट फ्रॉम एस ए नोट देर इज डिले इन द एक्शन पोटेंशियल राइट द एक्शन पोटेंशियल यू नो इट स्टार्ट विद एस ए नोट फ्रॉम एस ए नोट इट रीचेज अप टू द ए वी नोट वी आर दिस डिले इज देयर whenever there is a impulse transmission delay is there and what's the reason for the delay it allows the right atria to receive the blood from the vena cava it allow atria to rest it allow a stronger right atrial contraction it allows ventricle to receive all the blood from the atria the re answer is option 4 it allows all the blood uh, should be present in the ventricle and once the wave of depolarization reaches the ventricle the ventricle systole will allow all the blood to enter into the uh, to uh, move the blood out of the ventricle clear is it clear yes buddies the correct answer we have is option 4 so that proper filling of the ventricle should happen before its contraction now serum differ from the blood in very important question very easy question also the serum differ from the blood in lacking the clotting factor right serum doesn't have clotting factor always remember next question blood pressure in the pulmonary artery blood pressure in the pulmonary artery so from where does the pulmonary artery comes from pulmonary artery arises directly from the heart so this is a heart right from the heart the deoxygenated blood enters into the pulmonary artery pulmonary artery right and then blood reaches up to the lungs and here the oxygenation happens and then blood reaches into the pulmonary vein pulmonary vein and from the pulmonary vein it enters into the left side of the heart like this here here pulmonary artery and this is a pulmonary uh, this is how the circulation happens now they are saying same as that of aorta now second one more than that in the carotid more than then in the pulmonary vein always remember this is always more than that in the pulmonary vein it is more than that in the pulmonary vein why because in the arteries because of their own pressure arteries will be having their own pressure the reason is they are having a valve right and uh, sorry or not valve sorry so right so correct answer they will be having more than the pulmonary vein because they are directly coming from the heart rakesh because they are directly coming from the heart and once the heart will contract it uh, keep see definitely it will be having more pressure as compared to pulmonary vein clear option 3 is correct see one which is coming directly from the heart will be having more pressure because that is the result of a contraction and from the lungs it is coming back so vein will be having less pressure as compared to the heart here yeah. now blood pressure in the mammalian aorta is maximum during blood pressure in the mammalian aorta mammalian aorta <coughs> now listen <coughs> mammalian aorta mammalian aorta what does a mammalian aorta carry mammalian aorta carry oxygenated blood it carries oxygenated blood and this oxygenated blood from aorta it reaches up to the body tissue it reaches up to the body tissue are you getting this point and this aorta it arises from the ventricle right arises from the left side of the ventricle from where it will travel to the various part of the body and it will supply oxygen over there now systole of the left ventricle diastole of the right atrium systole of the left atrium diastole of the right ventricle what will be the right answer what will be the right answer because a contraction once the systole will happen very nice once the systole of the left ventricle will occur there will be maximum flow here yeah? maximum flow because it has contracted systole here yeah? now doctors use a stethoscope they always use stethoscope you will be using after some time yes prerna so doctor use stethoscope to hear the sounds produced during the each cardiac cycle the second sound is heard second sound when are you going to uh, receive the second sound that is when the semilunar wall close down 
whenever the semi lunar wall closes down that produces a sound of dub which sound is produced the dub or whenever there is a closure of your uh, <coughs> tricuspid and bicuspid wall it produces a sound of the dub yeah clear buddies hope this question is also clear akira rakesh pranav everyone guys clear yes so correct answer we have is this option 2 semi lunar wall closes it produces a sound of dub whenever tricuspid bicuspid wall closes it produces a sound of lub lub dub lub dub here yeah? now moving on to the next question person with a blood group ab very nice now person with a blood group ab is considered as a universal recipient because it has why it is considered as a universal recipient why both a and b antigen in the plasma but no antibody both a and b antigen on the rbc but no antibodies in the plasma this is right here antigens are always present on the rbc surface which option is right buddies come on anjan come on jeevan rakesh akira come on tell me in the comment section correct answer we have is option 2 because those who are having ab blood group ab blood group person they do not have the Uh, 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 antibodies in their uh, uh, one second they do not have antibodies in their plasma so that is the reason they are universal recipient here yeah? here yes option 2 always remember the rbc the antigens they are present on rbc surface but when we talk about the antibodies antibodies are present in the plasma so do not do this silly mistake now an artificial pacemaker is implanted subcutaneously and connected to the heart in the patient having 90% blockage of the three main coronary arteries having a high blood pressure with irregularity in the heart rhythm suffering from the arteriosclerosis you being my future doctors just think about it that you are placing an artificial pacemaker right you are art uh, placing an artificial pacemaker in the patient heart when are you going to do that think about it you will be uh, you will be uh, future doctors you have to take this decision so when will you do this when will you do this guys when will you do this yes absolutely right when there is irregularity in the heart rhythm heart rhythm irregularity is there that means sa node is not conducting is not working properly those self excitatory cells they are not producing a nerve imp uh, sorry um, uh, impulse if they are not able to produce that means you need to give something from outside good going samit good going rebel come on jeevan very nice prerna anjan come on good 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 four was confused why are you confused suffering from arteriosclerosis no it is related to the heart rhythm students heart rhythm now we are moving towards the next chapter which is excretory products and its elimination ready buddies yes how many questions we have completed till now almost 100 not 100 we have completed 98 questions we have completed almost 98 questions till now are you enjoying this practice yes are you also on the right track see your exam two days are left and i told you that we will be completing zoology together all my buddies will be completing zoology with the chavi ma'am and that is the reason we are here and we are continuously discussing question and we will keep on discussing until we'll complete class 12th yes what was your score rakesh 98 out of 98 yes ma'am so this positive have you uh, like be uh, keep uh, your energy at a high level you want to drink coffee take coffee you want to take tea whatever you want to do just do that but you, i want your energy should be at this level do not feel sleepy because <coughs> this is important what is the pathway of the blood okay i'll tell you see 
um, first of all, the right atrium, it receives blood from the superior vena cava, inferior vena cava. From right atrium, blood enters into the right vent, uh, right atrium, blood enters into the right ventricle. From right ventricle, it enters into the pulmonary artery. From pulmonary artery, it reaches up to the lungs. From lungs, oxygenated blood, blood enters into the left atrium. From left atrium, it enters into the left ventricle. From left ventricle, from the iota, it enters to the whole body. This is how the circulation happens, Anushya. Yeah. See, my point is each and every concept, each and every topic, such topics should be clear to you. I want you should be having a next level confident. Confidence that yes, you are attempting questions and you are on the right track. And if you will keep that positive aura around you, no one can stop you. Yes. Clear? Excretory products and in the elimination. Let's start. This is the first question. Come on, everyone. Answer. Which of the following is correct for a human being? Correct answer you have to find out. pH of urine is around 8. They are saying they are alkaline. Okay. On an average, 20 to 30 mg of urea is excreted via urine. Presence of ketone body in a urine is an indication of the diabetes mellitus. Relaxation of the smooth muscle of the bladder and simultaneously contraction of the urethral sphincter causes release of urine. What is the right answer? Come on, everyone. Come on, come on, come on. The correct answer we have is option 3. Yes, those who are suffering from diabetes mellitus, they experience ketone bodies in their urine. They have ketone bodies in their urine. Here. Now, let's move on to the next question. If we uh, choose the correct statement from the statement, three, these statements given here. In the presence of vasopressin, maximum water is absorbed from the collecting duct. In presence of vasopressin, maximum water is absorbed from DCT. If we drink a lot of uh, water, ADH increases. An increase in the glomerular blood flow stimulates the formation of angiotensin 2. What is the right answer? <coughs> what is the right answer? Guys, come on. Come on, everyone. Definitely, Vedant, this is going to help you for your uh, NEET examination. At least, zoology you will be completing after this class. Now, come on, come on, everyone. Think about it. The first one is the presence of vasopressin. Whenever we have a vasopressin, vasopressin, the ADH function, what is anti diuretic hormone? What does it do? It produces a concentrated urine. How does it do so? It has absorb water from the collecting duct. This is absolutely right, 100% right. Yes, Harshit, very nice, Banishi, correct answer. The presence of vasopressin, maximum water, no, incorrect. Now, if we drink a lot of water, ADH uh, release increases. Why do we need to release ADH? ADH also causes concentrated urine. Why do we need to consume more water when we are consuming more water? So, this is also incorrect. Yeah. Now, next one we have is <coughs> an increase in the glomerular blood flow stimulate the formation of this is also wrong. This is also wrong because whenever the RAS system functions, Whenever we have is a RAS system functions, this RAS system, <coughs> listen, whenever this RAS system function, the RAS system basically uh, helps in the more and more, uh, basically whenever the GFR is affected, in that case the RAS system function. Yeah? So correct answer we have is option 1. Now, let's move on to the next question. Which of the following statement is not true? Not true statement, again you have to find out. Loop of Henle is largely responsible for the concentration of the urine. Descending limb of loop of Henle is impermeable to solute. Distal convoluted tubule functions in the K plus sodium ion homeostasis. Descending limb of loop of Henle is impermeable to water. What is the right answer? What is the right answer? Guys, you have to, uh, sorry, you have to select an incorrect statement. Ammonotelism uh, student means, that means removal of ammonia right as a nitrogenous waste the procedure is termed as ammonotelism what is the right answer very nice absolutely right descending limb of loop of henle this is impermeable to water this is wrong they are permeable to water only here they are in fact impermeable to solute but they are not impermeable to water now the part of nephron involved in the active reabsorption of sodium Bowman capsule, descending limb of loop of Henle, distal convoluted tubule or the proximal convoluted tubule. 
<coughs> active reabsorption of sodium. What is the right answer? Come on. Yes, Rakesh. Yes, Prerna. Absolutely right. Think about this question. Come on, come on, come on, everyone. Be active. Which one is actively uh, uh, involved in the active reabsorption of sodium? Active reabsorption. We are saying that active reabsorption of sodium is happening. Frog, uh, guys, frog is ureotelic. Clear? Come on. <coughs> what is the right answer? Come on. Very nice. It's a PCT. You know, 60 to 70 percent of absorption, reabsorption occurs in the PCT. Come on. Yes. Next, in mammals, which blood vessel would carry the largest amount of urea? Which one will carry the largest amount of urea? Hepatic ren renal vein, dorsal iota, hepatic vein, hepatic portal vein. Which one will carry? The hepatic vein. V very nice. The hepatic, oh, sorry, renal vein. Sorry, hepatic vein. Renal vein. Very nice, Arjun. Ha, huh, yes. The larval stage is a monotelic, whereas when we, because she is asking frog, so frog is ureotelic only. Clear? Now. Correct answer we have is option 1, renal vein. Hepatic portal system is that portal system which functions in this uh, context that uh, these nitrogenous wastes should not reach up to the heart, heart being a vital organ. So from the stomach, the hepatic uh, portal vein they arises and they reaches up to the liver. And liver is a place where detoxification of the drug occur. And from here, the blood enters into the uh, hepatic Renal vein. Sorry, 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 sorry. Not renal vein. The hepatic vein. Correct answer we have is hepatic vein. Clear? Hepatic vein is a correct answer. Yes? Three. Yes. Pranam, option three. I am saying hepatic vein, but I don't know why I take the renal vein. So, correct answer we have is the hepatic vein. Now, moving on to the next, removal of very important removal. What we are doing is we are removing the PCT, proximal convoluted tubule from the nephron. If we are removing the PCT from the nephron, what will happen? The urine will be diluted. More and more dilute urine we are going to produce because 70 to 80 percent of reabsorption, where does it occur? 70 to 80 percent of reabsorption, where does it occur? It occurs in the proximal convoluted tubule. Right? <coughs> now, okay, Vedant, I'll explain. Wait. I'll explain. See, they are saying which blood vessel carry the largest amount of uh, largest amount of urea. Now, from the stomach, this is a stomach region. Right? From the stomach, see, suppose whatever we are eating, whatever drugs we are eating, whatever we are doing, so that stomach reabsorbs. Right? Absorption occurs in the stomach and from the stomach, these drugs, suppose every drug, they enter into the liver. They enter into the liver. Right? And what do we call this? This is a hepatic portal vein. This is a hepatic portal vein. Right? See, from the stomach, we cannot directly innervate the heart. We cannot send directly blood to the heart. The reason is the whatever we are eating should not reach directly up to the heart. So first it goes to the liver for the detoxification process. From the liver, from this liver buddies, what happens is we have is hepatic vein arises. Hepatic vein. I told you about the hepatic vein. The central vein is present. Now this hepatic vein takes the blood and uh, it drains the blood into the, because it, it will be carrying the uh, urea coming from the stomach, coming from the liver. So, it will be carrying the urea, the maximum nitrogenous waste it is going to carry because the two organs, they are involved. Now, this is going to pour the secretion. Now, this is going to pour the secretion, hepatic vein, into the heart, the, basically on the right side. And it is going to open into the inferior vena cava inferior vena cava and from the inferior vena cava the blood is going to enter into the right atria 
here so hepatic vein is a one which carry it pam what do you mean by jaw jaw which one jaw which jaw did i say jaw which question are you talking about anjan yes let's move on to the next question which of the following does not favor the formation of dilute quantities of the urine the first thing is the renin renin so renin is the one the renin angiotensin aldosterone system this is the system which helps in forming the concentrated urine it helps in forming the concentrated urine so that more and more things can be reabsorbed renin angiotensin aldosterone system here next is atrial natriuretic factor anf when do uh, this heart releases anf heart releases anf whenever the blood pressure is high this is the one which is responsible for reducing the bp this reduces the bp by producing the dilute urine right now alcohol you all know alcohol uh, and uh, caffeine both of these they are diuretic they are diuretic name itself shows anti natrial uretic factor and this is a diuretic this is also a diuretic clear clear guys clear now let's move on to the next question human urine is usually acidic we all know the human urine is acidic what is the reason for it why do we say that human urine is acidic because the hydrogen ion they are ac actively secreted into the filtrate so it is acidic it is not at all alkaline diuretic mat that means students that means it produces more and more urine for example in many countries in many western culture whenever we are serving uh, uh, caffeine caffeine for example uh, the coffee to our guest after some time we have to serve water because caffeinated you must have noticed also whenever you consume water or sorry whenever you consume coffee or uh, any uh, for example the tea also the uh, urine increases the urine output increases because they act as a because they act as a uh, diuretic clear yeah. option 3 is correct now let's move on to the next question guys those who are Sucked in the amonotelism, uh, ureotelism, and uricotelism. Give me a correct answer. A. Amonotelism, amonotelic organism. B. We have is a ureotelic organism, and the C. We have is a uricotelic organism. Come on. Uh, 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 come on. Come on, everyone. Answer in the comment section. Amonotelic. Amonotelic are those organism which releases ammonia. Ureotelic, urea. and the uricotelic uric acid what is the right answer which is the best match correct answer we have is option 3 yes clear guys i guess some lubby dubby has been started in the chat box guys please will you please do this lubby dubby somewhere else yes next we have is a uricotelic uricotelic are those organism which excrete uric acid uric acid as their nitrogenous waste which is less toxic clear ganesh next ureo that means urea they are excreting for example the frog we have discussed about it the frog the humans they are ureotelic clear yes come on Ne next now we are moving towards the next chapter which is your locomotion and movement guys do you need a break or should we continue do you need a break come on everyone <laughs> guys sometime it is like oh my god things happens come on do we need a break do we need a break or should we continue with this chapter which is a locomotion and movement Come on, everyone! Answer in the chat box. Continue. Okay. Good. Good. This is what I call it energy. Very nice. Very nice, Vedant. Very nice. 
यो 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 दैट्स नाइस चलो नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द लोकोमोशन एंड मूवमेंट नाउ फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन लोकोमोशन एंड मूवमेंट फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन रिब इज अ थिन फ्लैट बोन कनेक्टेड डॉसली टू द वर्टिब्रल कॉलम फर्स्ट सेवन पेयर ऑफ रिब्स आर कॉल्ड एज ट्रू रिब्स Ribs has two articulation surface on its ventral end, and it's called bicephalic. Last two pair of rib are not connected ventrally, therefore they are termed as a floating ribs. Come on, come on, students, give me answer. You have to choose a incorrect statement. Incorrect statement you have to select. These are the lines, guys. These are directly from the NCERT, and that is the reason we keep on repeating in this session, guys. NCERT is important. Very nice, Kamakar. Correct answer we have is the option three. Articulation on its dorsal end. It is the dorsal end. Yes, this is right. Rib is a thin, flat bone connected dorsally, connected towards the back side to the vertebral column. first seven pairs you have is a true ribs they are the true ribs absolutely right last two they are not connected ventrally that is the reason they are termed as a floating ribs come on next one choose a incorrect statement again you have to select a incorrect statement with respect to locomotion in humans first option we have is accumulation of uric acid crystal causes inflammation in joints vertebral column has five lumbar vertebrae in myasthenia gravis affecting nmj nmj is neuromuscular junction leading to fatigue the joint between the adjacent vertebrae is fibrous joint what is the right answer come on <laughs> my god oh my god Come on, come on, come on! What is the right answer? See, this is absolutely right. Accumulation uric acid gout. Now, vertebral column. What is the right answer? Come on. Pranav is saying three. Ganesh is saying three. This is right. affecting the neuromuscular junction yes it affects the neuromuscular junction this is directly given in the ncert guys this is right next one the uh, joint between the adjacent vertebrae is it a fibrous joint is it a fibrous joint yes correct answer we have is option 4 incorrect we are looking for incorrect statement that is not a fibrous joint then what kind of joint is it what kind of joint cartilaginous joint Now moving on to the next read the following statement with respect to the striated muscle fibers and choose the incorrect statement muscle fibers they are lined by the plasma membrane termed as sarcolemma muscle fibers they have a sarcoplasmic reticulum for the storage of the calcium ion next one muscle fibers they are uninucleated structure nucleus is present in the peripheral part muscle fibers they have a parallelly arranged filament what is the right answer There is so much lovey dovey in the chat box. Now I feel like that I should also sing a song. Come on, what is the right answer, buddies? Correct answer we have is option three. Guys, we are looking for a incorrect statement. I told you in the starting of the session when we were discussing the structure organization in animals, they are not uninucleated structure; they are multinucleated. Yeah, very nice, very nice. So these are the some mistakes which you should not do. Which one of the following is not a ciliary movement? So ciliary movement are those movement which involves the cilia movement. Come on, food gathering in paramecium, removal of dust particle in the trachea, passage of ova through female reproductive tract, movement of macrophages in the leukocyte. Correct answer we have is option four. Yeah. option 4 is a correct one yeah now next osteoporosis and age related disease of the skeletal system can occur due to come on come on come on come on this is related to the decreased level of estrogen yes 
This occurs due to decreased level of estrogen. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Good going. Now, next question. Name the iron responsible for unmasking of active site for myosin for cross bridge activity during muscle contraction. One which is responsible for the muscle contraction, what is that? Option B, e, that is the calcium. That is the calcium. Okay, I'll tell you about the muscle contraction mechanism. See, we have is this neuromuscular junction. <coughs> we have this neuromuscular junction, right? Suppose this is that muscle. Right? Here, endoplasmic reticulum is there. Sarcoplasmic reticulum. Basically, we call it sarcoplasmic reticulum. You remember? So, whenever the action potential, action potential reaches up to here. Now, what will happen? What does that happen, guys, is here the calcium ion channel, the voltage-gated calcium ion channel opens and the calcium ion is gushed into the uh, nerve fiber. What will happen? It will call, it will, uh, we are having acetylcholine neurotransmitter here. The acetylcholine, they will come into the, this particular area, right? Now, these are going to bind to the receptors present on the muscle cell, neuromuscular junction muscle cell. They are going to bind over here. Whenever they are going to bind over here, it will cause a conformational changes due to which the sodium ion channel will open. Sodium ion channel will change the depolarization here towards the inner side. It will reach like this. From the T tubule, it is going to reach up to the sarcoplasmic reticulum. From sarcoplasmic reticulum, the calcium ion will be released. Calcium ion will be released. Here, now these calcium ions which are released, now these calcium ions will bind to Bind to what? TPC. You remember TPC? And causes conformation changes in the actin. Due to which conformation changes in the actin. Conformation changes in actin. And whenever there is conformation changes in actin, what will happen, buddies, next? Conformation changes has happened. Now, what will happen? Actin will slide over the myosin. Actin will bind to myosin head. Bind to myosin head. Actin will bind to myosin head. Here, yes, Keshav. Clear? 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 But is clear? So, we started with the neuromuscular junction. Here, the calcium ion entry will occur. This will cause conformation changes in this. Causes acetyl, this is the, these are the acetylcholine. These are the acetylcholine exocytosis will occur. The calcium ion, so acetylcholine will bind to the receptor. This will cause is the changes in the uh, uh, like uh, sodium ion channel will open. Sodium ion channel will enter. Depolarization will occur. Sarco this is a sarcoplasmic reticulum. Let's note it down. Sarcoplasmic reticulum and sarcoplasmic reticulum. What does what uh, do we uh, uh, do with the sarcoplasmic reticulum? It will release a calcium ion which will bind to the TPC. Clear? Clear? Okay. Now, moving on to the next. Read the following statement. Again, you have to choose a wrong statement. Guys, you have to select a wrong statement. Vitreous chamber is filled with transparent gel termed as a vitreous humor. Absolutely right. Light rays is visible wavelength generate potential in the rods in the cones. Absolutely right. Rhodopsin pigment is composed of opsin protein and the retinal, the aldehyde group. You remember? This is right. Directly given in the NCRT. Anterior pore of the eye uh, no, 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 not anterior pole. This is the posterior side. 
posterior pole is having macular lutea and macular lutea they are having cones large and large number of the cones they have right answer very nice option 4 is correct we are looking for a wrong statement right have you noticed why we are discussing those questions where non wrong statements we have to select have you thought of it why we are doing this why we are doing this i'll tell you because when we are we are looking for a wrong statement we have three right statements with us and three right statements gives us a clear idea that this is the real concept yeah uh ganesh it will take another 2 hours or so this after uh, this whole session will be completed we are still in the class 11th and later on we are moving we'll take a break and then we'll move towards the class 12th now which one of the following statement is incorrect for mid brain clear now dorsal portion consists of four round swelling which we call it as corpora quadrigemina this is absolutely right the term does a corpora quadrigemina form brain stem from the hind brain absolutely right now it is located between the thalamus i was absolutely right right ventricle is present in the this part of the brain what do you mean by right ventricle right ventricle is present where right ventricle is present in the heart it is not present over here yeah it is present in the heart you remember right ventricle okay now let's move on to the next question which of the following statement choose the incorrect option you have to select aperture surrounded by the iris is termed as a pupil diameter of pupil is regulated by the muscle fibers of the iris absolutely right next one cerebellum has a very convoluted uh, surface in order to provide additional space for the more neuron absolutely right brain is covered with outer layer dura meter yes very thick no thin thin arachnoid and inner layer which is your pia meter which is your pia meter here yeah. so outside we have is a dura meter then we have is a arachnoid and the inner layer we have is a pia meter clear option 3 is 4 is correct in incorrect sorry now guys next question let's have a look at the next question damage of occipital lobe causes speech related problem guys we have to select incorrect one so it is the frontal lobe it is the frontal lobe not the occipital one vagus nerve innervates absolutely right cerebrum is not considered as a part of the uh, part of the brain stem yes cerebrum is not a part absolutely right 12 pair of cranial nerves so which option is wrong option a that is only option a is wrong fifty fifty Hello. Let, uh, let's let let us also do fifty fifty. Yeah. So wherever you are confused, just let me know. We'll do the fifty fifty. We I'll remove those uh, two options, and you have to select a correct two uh, option. Now moving on to the next. Consider the following statement about the parasympathetic division of AMS. Parasympathetic. All its neuron release acetylcholine as their primary neurotransmitter. Absolutely right. Yes. How do they communicate with the help of How do they communicate with the help of the acetylcholine? Next, the cell bodies of postganglionic neuron lies in the organ innervated. Yes, so there are two type of neuron. One is a pre one. Pre one start with the cervical sacral spinal cord. Us after that we have some inter neurons. Here we have is a inter neuron, and the post one, the post one. You can say the postganglionic after the ganglionic. We have. the one which interact with the tissue where the corresponding changes we have to cause so this is a preganglionic this is a preganglionic then we have is a interneuron then we have is a postganglionic absolutely right clear so correct option this is also correct preganglionic is line cervical sacral absolutely correct all are two now what is next question Let's look at the next question. Arrange the following in order of reception and transmission of the sound wave from the external auditory canal. So that uh, from where the transmission occur, that you have to tell me. 
So first of all, it is going to start with the ear drum. So how does this transmission occur? It transmission occurs started from the ear drum. From the ear drum, it enters into the malleus. It then travels to the incus. Then we have is a fourth stapes. Then we have is a fifth the cochlea. The sixth we have is a cochlear nerve. Clear? So we have is a B E D C F A. Correct answer we have is option. Very nice. Very nice, guys. Clear? Now, let's move on to the next question. Main function of nasal granules. Nasal granules, they are found where? They are present in the neuron. They are present where? They are present in the neuron. So, in the neuron, the cell body, we have is a nasal granules present. So, what is the function of nasal granules, guys? Nasal granules, they help in the formation of the structural protein and they help in the repair mechanism. They help in the repair mechanism. Clear? So, overall, in the repair, it helps us a lot. Right? These are the, here you are going to find the nasal granules. Here. Now, moving on to the next. Dancers and the sport persons, they are able to maintain their proper position by using their internal sense of balance. Sensing is a sort of the body internal condition and position is performed by. How do we perform the equilibrium? That is because of the crista ampullaris and macula. Clear? I'll tell you about it. See, whenever we talk about ear, there are two functions of ear. The first one is hearing. Make this chart, everyone. The first function is hearing. That is to listen. Right? And here, cochlea is involved. Cochlea. In the cochlea, what do we have is the organ of corti. Organ of corti is present which help in hearing. If you will be able to solve this concept, many questions they come from this topic because this is super important, specifically the equilibrium one. Just focus on this topic and just write it down in the notebook. Second one we have is it helps in the equilibrium. Very nice, very important. It helps in the equilibrium. Clear? Yes, absolutely right. For the equilibrium, what do we have is autolith structure. Autolith structure. Right? Autolith organ is there. Clear? Yeah. In autolith, the two things are present. First is termed as utricle. Utricle. First one is termed as utricle. Utricle. And second one is termed as secule. So they have sensitive area, which we call it as macula. So macula, the hair cells are present. So they have around 16,000 to 24,000 hair cell. They have 16,000 to 24,000 hair cells are present. And these hair cells, they are termed as stereocilia. They have stereocilia. That means these are those cilia which are immovable. That means they do not move. Clear? Clear, buddies? Now, correct answer we have is option 4. So, this you have to remember the autolith structure, the utricle saccules, the macula and the stereocilia are there. Now, Next one, if the receptors are removed from the post-synaptic membrane, I told you that two uh, uh, neurons, they communicate with the help of neurotransmitter. One neurotransmitter is released by one and neurotransmitter is taken by the another one. Yeah, so it binds to the receptors. What we are doing is we are affecting the receptors. Synapse transmission will be faster? No. Synapse transmission will be slower or it will not happen because receptors, they are not working. Chemical synaptic transmission will be slow. Chemical transmission will not occur. Absolutely right. We are going with the option 3. Chemical synapse will not occur. There will be no transmission of the nerve impulse because receptors are not working. Yeah. No. Moving on to the, so this is the one. See, there is a one neuron which is termed as a presynaptic neuron. 
second one is a post synaptic neurons post synaptic neuron is there and this is how they communicate and this is how the receptors they look like clear ach receptors means acetylcholine receptor these are the acetylcholine receptors now now let's move towards the next chapter which is a chemical coordination and integration right in this chapter most important part is a hormone and other than that is the diseases which are caused by these here yeah? diseases which are caused by these hormones now moving on to the first question which of the following statement is correct in relation to the endocrine system so you have to select a correct statement non nutrient chemical produced by the body in the trace amount that act as a intercellular messenger are termed as hormones yes for the cell to cell communication some hormones are released which are non nutrient in nature absolutely right now next one releasing an inhibiting hormone they are produced by the pituitary gland no they are secreted by the hypothalamus they are secreted by the hypothalamus now adeno hypophysis is not directly under the control no then which one the neuro hypophysis neuro hypophysis now next one organs in the body like gastrointestinal tract heart kidney liver do not produce hormones yes they do produce hormones for example digestive system they produces cholecystokine and gastric inhibitory peptide secretin etc kidneys also produces erythropoietin heart also produces hormone and that is termed as anf atrial natriuretic factor or atrial natriuretic peptide clear clear buddies now moving on to the next read the following statement and choose the incorrect option again guys we have to select the incorrect option the first one is pineal gland is located on the dorsal side of the forebrain this line is directly given in the ncrt clear now next one melatonin can only influence pigmentation and the menstrual cycle lh and fsh stimulates the gonadal activity oxytocin causes milk ejection and the mammary gland now listen this is again given in the ncrt it does not only affect the pigmentation and menstrual cycle but the primary role is the diurnal cycle diurnal cycle that is the 24 hour cycle it controls here so which one is a wrong option option 2 clear very nice clear clear yes very nice answer very nice banishri good going come on everyone give answer in the comment section guys let students spam you are focusing on your studies just focus on your studies irrespective of whatever students whatever people are saying so one thing is you have to see suppose you are writing an examination of your neat you are solving some question some distraction is happening what will you do you will be will you be distracted will you be distracted no no one on this earth can stop you so you have to be focused irrespective whatever people are saying irrespective of that just focus on your work whatever you are doing let them do just be here mentally just be here just do not think about what other are, are thinking here correct answer we have is option 2 now next one read the following statement and choose choose how many statements they are incorrect again guys we have to select incorrect statement first we have is testis perform dual function as an endocrine gland or as a secondary sex organ testis is a secondary sex organ yes no no this is a primary sex organ this is a primary sex organ now next one low pitch voice is induced by testosterone yes right when blood pressure decreases when blood pressure decreases anf secreted which causes dilation of the blood pressure when blood pressure increases here now androgenic steroids play a role in the growth of the axial hair pubic hair facial hair this is right this is also right so b and c option are right we are going with option 2 so you are also on the right track yes buddies yes clear
clear now next one read the following statement and choose the incorrect one again you have to select the incorrect option clear come on everyone pranav yes two options are there guys not one summer this is a english channel this is a pw english channel so clear so this is a pw english channel so language has to be in english now next one thymosin promotes the production of antibodies to produce humoral immunity is that so thymosin promotes antibodies no thymosins these are the hormones which are secreted by the thymus thymosin and it helps it plays a very important role in the cell mediated immune response not humoral cell mediated immune response or cell mediated immunity here so this option seems incorrect this can be a probable right answer four parathyroid gland very nice this is right post ganglionic fiber use acetylcholine right acetylcholine reduces the rate very nice so correct option we have is option 1 clear clear buddies yes we were looking for a incorrect option so this is a right answer clear now let's move on to the next question which of the following hormone play a, play a significant role in osteoporosis there are two hormones which play a significant role in osteoporosis one is a estrogen and second is a parathyroid hormone what does a parathyroid hormone do parathyroid hormone it decrease it increases the blood calcium level calcium iron level so from where does this calcium come from this calcium comes from this calcium directly comes from the bones so resorption of bone it helps the resorption of bone clear pranav clear yes clear buddies so this practice is very important so keep practicing questions more and more you are going to solve the questions more it is going to help you okay clear yes now next one gnrh and hypothalamic hormone needed in reproduction acts on gnrh hypothalamic needed in reproduction acts on gnrh gnrh you know that is secreted by the hypothalamus so it acts on anterior pituitary and stimulate the release of slh and fsh we all know about it it's very easy right how does it function the gnrh is released by the hypothalamus and then hypothalamus uh, act uh, sorry gnrh act on the anterior pituitary and anterior pituitary release the hormone lh and fsh here yes easy question come on moving on to the next cholecystokinin act on pancreas and gall bladder correct answer we have is pancreas and gall bladder it causes the release of pancreatic uh, enzymes as well as it allows or it uh, causes the gall bladder to release the bile here yeah, this is also from the ncrt hormones which are released by the digestive system those which are released by the kidney those which are released by the heart super 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 important yes very nice good going everyone now posterior pituitary is not a true endocrine gland why it is not a true endocrine gland because it only stores and releases hormone and which hormone adh and oxytocin right which hormone adh and your oxytocin these are the two hormones which are released by the posterior pituitary they are not synthesized by the posterior pituitary they are synthesized by the hypothalamus and then they are released here okay very nice now name the peptide hormone which acts mainly on the hepatocyte adipocyte enhances the cellular glucose uptake and utilization that means this is that hormone which reduces the level of glucose in the blood so that more and more glucose can be converted into the glycogen that means they act on the hepatocyte adipocyte and enhance the cellular glucose so more e in easy form i can say it reduces the glucose level in the blood 
What is that? That is the insulin secreted by the beta cells of the islets of Langerhans. Islets of Langerhans, these are the uh, cells, endocrine cells of the pancreas. Now, another question is, how which type of cells they are producing the enzyme? Correct answer we have is the SNI cell of the pancreas. Now, next is a grave disease is caused by, grave disease, grave disease is because of the hyper secretion of the thyroid gland. This is because of the hyper secretion of the thyroid gland. Clear? Clear? Yes? What is clear? Now, tryptophan is the precursor for the synthesis of the melatonin and serotonin. Yes? Very nice. Good going. Next one. Which of the following are not antagonistic? See, all the hormones are antagonistic to one another. Parathormone, what does a parathormone do? What is the function of the parathormone? Parathormone increases blood calcium ion. It increases the blood calcium. Calcitonin reduces the blood calcium. Blood calcium. Right? Insulin, what is the function? Insulin reduces the blood glucose. It reduces the blood glucose. Whereas a glycogen, what does a glycogen do? Glycogen increases the blood glucose. Blood glucose. Next we have is a aldosterone and ANF. ANF, what does ANF causes? It causes more urine formation. That means a dilute urine. Dilute urine. And when does it is, uh, like uh, when does a heart form ANF? That means when the blood pressure increases. So, whereas it causes concentrated urine. On the contrary, lilaxin and inhibin, they are not antagonistic to one another, right? Inhibin is a hormone which is synthesized by the Sertoli cells. You remember here, ABP inhibin Sertoli cells. Whereas, relaxin is the one which helps in the relaxation. So, relaxation, that means help in the birth. Clear? It helps in the baby birth. So, they are not antagonistic. Correct option we have is option 4. Next. Which hormone do stimulate the production of pancreatic juice and the bicarbonate ion? So, correct answer. Which hormone? The cholecystokinin and secretin. Direct question. Chemical signals that has both endocrine and the neural lobe. Which one is having both endocrine and neural lobe? Epinephrine. It is the epinephrine. Here. Now, next one. Which one of the following hormone, though synthesized elsewhere, is stored and released by the master gland? What is the name? ADH, antidiuretic hormone, vasopressin. And another hormone is oxytocin. Fear? Yes? Fear? Now, this is the correct answer. Moving on to the next. Which one of the following hormone is not involved in sugar metabolism? Not involved. What is the right answer? Right answer is aldosterone. Which is what? Which is helps in the mineral metabolism. Is, that is the reason we call it mineralocorticoids. These are the mineralocorticoids. Very nice. Here, yeah? very nice. Good going. Now, next one. Which of the following statement is incorrect with respect to the FSH hormone? <coughs> so, what is the FSH hormone? Okay. What is the FSH? FSH hormone, these are the hormone, follicle stimulating hormone, these are secreted by the pituitary. And as per the NCRT, FSH hormones, they are the peptide hormone. They are the peptide hormone. So those which are peptide hormone, their receptors, they are present on the surface. And that means they are present on the cell surface. So, they have to interact with those receptors which are present on the cell surface and accordingly secondary transmitters, they will be released. Secondary transmitters, they will be released such as calcium ions, such as IP3, they will be released which causes con conditional changes, which causes a particular changes related to that hormone inside the cell. So, always remember proteinaceous hormones are those hormones whose receptors they are present on the cell surface. On the contrary, we have those steroid hormones also whose uh, receptors they are present inside the cell. Here, yeah. Now, it interacts with the membrane bound receptor and normally does not enter the target cell. This is absolutely right. Guys, we are looking for an incorrect statement. Next, it generates secondary messenger like cyclic uh, AMP and calcium ion. Very nice. This is absolutely correct. 
Next is it regulate the gene expression and chromosome function by interacting with the hormone receptor complex in the genome. No. This is done by the steroid hormone. This is not done by the proteinaceous hormone. Next one, it bind with the receptor membrane. Yes, absolutely right. So three options they are right. What is the wrong option? Wrong option is option. Now next one. Ne a drop in the blood sodium content, blood volume or the blood pressure or the rise in the sodium potassium concentration will causes release of, this will causes release of the aldosterone. Here? Yeah? Here? Yeah? Yes? Here? Yeah? No. Next one. An autoimmune disease in which a person produces antibody that mimic the action of TSH is and is not regulated by the normal feedback control that is termed as a grave disease. Yeah. Now, next one. Impairment affecting the synthesis of ADH is diminished. Ability of the ability to conserve water leading to a water loss, dehydration. This is known as what do we call it? This is termed as diabetes insipidus. Here. Yeah? Those which is the diabetes related to the insulin is diabetes mellitus. The one which is related to the to this one is diabetes insipidus. Here, yeah? yes, absolutely right. Insta, unsta, renin and aldosterone, aldosterone system. What is that? Is this only? Here. Yeah? Now, next one. In an accident, the anterior pituitary. Now, listen very carefully. One of the another important topic. Okay, okay, okay. Ashok, I'll go very slow. It's okay. Here, yeah? now listen. Here, in an accident, the anterior pituitary of a boy was damaged, but boy survived. What is likely to ha happen? High level of thyroxine will be released. See, anterior pituitary. They are saying anterior pituitary is damaged. That means thyroid stimulating hormone is not there. So what will happen? No thyroxine will be released. Wrong. Spermatogenesis will be stimulated. How can spermatogenesis is stimulated? Because anterior pituitary is the one which releases FSH and LH. Here, next one. The body will grow much, not much in height. Yes. The growth hormone is secreted by what? The pituitary only. Next, the growth of the memory gland will be stimulated too. Growth of the memory gland is because of the hormones such as the progesterone. Other than that, the milk formation is because of the prolactin. It is not because of this. Here, so what is the right option? Option 3 is the correct one. Here, yes, buddies. If it is clear, then give me thumbs up in the comment section. Yes, is this topic clear? Like few more minutes left and with that few more minutes, we will be completing your 11th standard and then we will be moving towards the 12th standard. Okay. Here. Yeah. Yes. Very nice. Good. Okay. 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 Harshit. Okay. Now. Oh God. Few more minutes, I guess few more seconds, I should say. So with this, we have completed your 11th standard. So let's take a break for some time. Clear? So let's take a break for half an hour. After that, we are going to meet and then we will be discussing some questions. Um, uh, uh, guys, we will be taking another two hours. Another two hours, we will be completing this chapter. Yeah. So, have your lunch, keep yourself hydrated, eat food, take coffee, whatever you want to do. But I want you to be active like this in 12th standard also because I will be asking questions. Yes. Here. Yeah. So, let's take a break for half an hour. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Right. Let's meet in a half an hour and then we will be discussing 
your human reproduction thank you so much okay guys see you have something
हेलो एवरीवन हेलो गाइस सो वी आर बैक यस वी आर बैक एवरीवन रेडी यस वी आर बैक नाउ वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग योर ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड यस क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम योर ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड एवरीबॉडी रेडी जल कम ऑन एवरीवन कॉल योर फ्रेंड्स Come on, everyone. Call your friends that your class has been started. Now, in this class, we will be taking up your not in this class, not in uh, now part. We will be taking up your class twelfth. Welcome back, Ansta. Yes, Keshav. Mama. Okay. So everyone is doing good. Can we start now? Human reproduction. Are you open with your NCERT and the notebook? we there are two chapters which are super important for your examination first is human reproduction and second is reproductive health from these two chapter this chapter plus your reproductive health these two chapters they are interrelated to each other from these chapter i am telling you five to six question will directly come five to six question 100% fixed and they will uh, definitely come from this stuff yeah come on come on call your friends i want that energy back you're done with your lunch you're done uh, with your coffee or the tea break whatever you were up to <coughs> yes great so five to six question they directly come from these two chapters they are very easy and i have tried to incorporate all the topics yes now first one first question the first question is in human being at the end of the 12th week first trimester of the pregnancy the following is observed the following is observed that means you have to tell me that at the end of the 12th week 12th week has happened now what will you observe the first one most of the major organ systems are formed the head is covered with fine hairs movement of fetus eyelids and eyelashes are formed come on everybody answer in the comment section your energy should be high what's the right answer movement of the fetus no one star movement of fetus at the end of fifth month at the end of fifth month movement of fetus correct answer we have is option a very nice ashwin correct answer most of the major organs are formed most of the major organs they are formed at the end of the first trimester always remember that it is covered with the fine hairs right now eyelids and the eyelashes are formed at the seventh around seventh month 6 to 7 month here yeah? yes now next question guys everybody answer in the comment section following statements are given regarding mtp what is mtp mtp is medical termination of pregnancy medical termination of pregnancy clear mtp we have to select guys the correct option we have to select correct option mtp is a generally advised during the first trimester is that so is it advised during the first trimester yes it is always advised absolutely right mtp is are used as a contraceptive method yes mtp helps in reducing the population but it is not used as a contraceptive method incorrect mtp is are always surgical not necessary So which option is correct? You have to look for a correct option, guys. Very nice. Only option one. Option three is correct. Option three is correct. Clear, clear, everyone. So this should be your confidence that whatever you are doing, do it with the confidence and give answer. Yes, MTP with the help of MTP, the population size reduces, but it is not a contraceptive method. Clearly mentioned in the NCERT. Now. the edge of the infundibulum possesses fine finger like projection which is termed as a fimbriae which helps in 
right you remember the structure of a fallopian tube the structure of a fallopian tube so here we have these fimbriae right these are the fimbriae here the ovary is present what is the function of fimbriae fimbriae help in the collection of ovum right so collection of ovum after ovulation very nice students very nice aniket very nice correct option we have is option b very nice not 3g1 correct option is option 2 clear now next question read the following statement and choose the incorrect one guys again you have to select the incorrect option are you ready okay the edges of infundibulum possess small protoplasmic processes that are termed as fimbriae are these of protoplasmic processes they are the finger like projections they are not proto protoplasmic processes so this can be a probable right answer ovaries are the primary female sex organ that produces the gamete absolutely right this is right secretion of the male accessory gland constitute the seminal plasma male accessory glands like up, uh, your seminal vesicle prostate gland and your cowper's gland they constitute the plasma absolutely right each ovary is covered by the thin epithelium which encloses the ovarian stroma uh, epithelium is present and in the center we have is the stroma here so what is the right and correct option option 1 very nice riya yes now which of the following incorrectly paired with the function incorrectly paired here yeah. epididymis maturation and the storage of sperm is it right yes epididymis the three parts of epididymis are there and they help in the storage and they help in the maturation of the sperm prostate gland it secretes a abp and inhibit no it's not the prostate gland it's a sertoli cells which secretes the abp sertoli cells right so this can be a probable right answer fallopian tube catches our and conducts them absolutely right seminal vesicle produce sugar containing fluid nourishes sperm absolutely right this is also right this is also right this cannot be a right option because they are right so we are going with option 2 because we are looking for a incorrectly matched pair yes riya no option not 3 option 2 is correct we are looking for a incorrect students we are looking for a incorrect option yes come on next one which of the following statement is correct about correct about functioning of estrogen hormone Estrogen increases the proliferation of endometrium, decreases the myometrial contraction. Myometrium hypertrophy. It is an anti-abortion hormone. What is the right answer? Estrogen. We are talking about estrogen. One. Come on, come on, come on. What is the right answer? Tell me. what is the function of the estrogen estrogen helps in the formation of endometrium absolutely right it help in the uh, proliferation of endometrium whereas the secretory nature of endometrium is because of the progesterone clear clear buddies yes now next one choose the incorrect pair with respect to the homologous reproductive structures so homologous reproductive structure that means their function is same in different group of organism right for example labia majora and the scrotum absolutely right clear labia majora and scrotum clitoris and the penis absolutely right they are the homologous structures <coughs> parathyroid gland and bulbo urethral gland absolutely right para urethral gland and seminal vesicle not seminal vesicle the prostate gland these are the prostate gland not the seminal vesicle so we are going with the option 4 para urethral gland para urethral gland secretion what does like what is the function of this para urethral gland it neutralize the acid it is alkaline in nature it neutralize the acid coming Uh, via the female reproductive tract right uh, sorry via the uh, urine th that comes so it neutralize it 
Next one is a seminal vesicle, not seminal vesicle, it is a prostate secretion which is alkaline. Clear, Rhea? Clear, clear? Clear? Paraurethral glands. It is present in female, it is present in male. Now, let's move on to the next question. Ovulation occurs between. Ovulation. Now, tell me a correct answer for this. Ovulation. Ovulation occur between menstruation and proliferative phase. Now, whenever we talk about the menstrual cycle, there are six different phases. Three phases are those which happen in the ovary. Three are those which happen in the uterus. Let's talk about it. Here, let's write it down. Now, let's talk about the one which happens in the uterus. The, in the uterus, the first thing which happens is the menstrual flow. Menstrual flow. That means the endometrium breaks down. Second important is, once it is done, second phase is the proliferative phase. Proliferative, that is the estrogen help in proliferation of endometrium. Third important phase is the secretory phase. Clear? Yeah, secretory phase. These are the three phases which happen in the uterus. Let's talk about the phase which happens in the ovary. <coughs> so, first phase is termed as follicular phase. Right? Second phase we have is the ovulatory phase. Ovulatory phase and the third phase is the luteal phase. Luteal phase. Clear? Now, question is ovulation occurs. Where does ovulation occur? Ovulation occur over here. Now, let's have a look. The first one between the menstruation and proliferative phase. See, menstruation and proliferative phase. Menstrual flow occurs from 3 to 5 days. Right? Proliferative phase from 5th day to day 14th. Now, secretory phase from 14th day to 28th day. Clear? Clear here now? Uh, till now? Follicular phase, follicular phase, 1st to 13th day. Clear? Now, next one, ovulatory phase. If cycle is of 28 days, so here at the 14th day, the ovulation occur. Luteal phase, after lute uh, luteal phase is 15th to 28th. To 28th. Clear, buddies? Now, we are talking about the ovulatory. So, where does this ovulation happen? Between the proliferative phase and secretory phase at the 14th day. Clear? Because NCRT talks about only one, three type of, uh, sorry, three phases of the menstrual cycle. They collab these two. Clear? So, correct answer is proliferative phase and the secretory phase. Option D. Are you on the right, right track? Yes? Now, moving on to the next, select the correct option from the haploid cells given in the following group. That means, guys, we have to select a, uh, uh, you can say haploid. Secondary spermatocytes, they are haploid, right? You remember spermatogenesis and oogenesis, they are haploid only because they are product of meiosis. So, this is also haploid and ovum is also haploid. So, this can be our probable right answer. Spermatogonia is 2n. Primary spermatocyte is 2n. Spermatids is n. This cannot be our right answer. Yes, Aryan. Yes, Keshav. Yes, Anstha. Come on. Next is primary spermatocyte is again 2n. Secondary spermatocyte is n. Second polar body is also n. Next one, primary oocyte. Primary oocyte is incomplete division. The secondary oocyte is N. Spermatid is also N. Correct answer we have is option 1. Yes, sweetie? Pural, uh, afra. Yes, option 1 is correct. Here? Yeah? Yes? Now, let's move on to the next question. Select the correct sequence. Again, guys, you have to select a correct sequence. For the transport of sperm in the female reproductive, in the, sorry, in the male reproductive system. Clear? So, you all know, <coughs> where are these sperms formed? Sperms are formed in the seminiferous tubule. Seminiferous tubule, then dentate testis, vas efferentia, epididymis, vas deferens, ejaculatory urethra and urethral This is the right answer. 
Do you agree to this point? Very easy. And most frequently, this question is being asked. Four, four is not right, uh, student. Four is not right because vas efferentia should be before epididymis. Clear? Yes. Pranav, clear? Four cannot be a right answer. Priya, no, four is not a right option. Option two is a correct one. Do you agree? Yes, buddies. No doubt. No doubt, guys. That's great. Now, extrusion of second polar body from egg nuclei. You know that oogenesis procedure, it occurs in various steps. Right? And it halts at various steps. We are saying, when do they complete the second division? Because after the completion of second division only, they will produce a second polar body. Clear? After the entry of sperm before fertilization. Why? Because whenever sperm comes, sperm induces the formation of APF. That is enough uh, phase promoting factor. What does it promote? These sperms promote APF. Anaphase promoting factor and it degrade metaphase promoting factors. Yes? Here? Yeah? It's okay, buddies. It's okay. Clear? Yeah? Yes, absolutely right. Because whenever sperm enter, then only the fertilization, uh, then only the completion of meiosis 2 occur. Before this, the secondary oocyte is stuck at metaphase 2. So we have to stop metaphase further and we have to induce the anaphase promoting uh, complex. Next one, hormones secreted by placenta to maintain pregnancy. What are the hormones which are secreted by placenta? Placenta secretes what? HCG, which is a human chorionic gonadotropin. It secretes HPL, human placental lactogen, progesterone, estrogen. Clear? Yes, Ria. Very nice. Good, good, good. Clear? Very easy question. Now, let's move on to the next question. The difference between spermiogenesis and spermiation. <coughs> Come on. Spermiogenesis and spermiation. Now, whenever we talk about the process of spermatogenesis, let's have a look. Now, from spermatogonia, spermatogonia, primary spermatocytes are formed. Primary spermatocytes are formed. I'll give you an overview of this topic. Yeah. From primary spermatocytes, secondary spermatocytes are formed. Secondary spermatocytes are formed. Now, secondary spermatocyte, what does this secondary spermatocyte do? It forms spermatid. And spermatids, it forms the sperms. It forms the sperm. Clear? Now, this whole procedure from first step to the last step, this is termed as spermatogenesis. Spermatogenesis. Here, this is termed as spermatogenesis. Whereas, whenever we talk about this procedure, this one, this is termed as spermiogenesis. Now, head of sperm, they are embedded in the Sertoli cells. So, when they are released, that is termed as spermiation. Here, yeah. Now, let's go back to the question. Now, spermiogenesis, spermatozoa are formed. While in spermiation, spermatozoa are released from Sertoli cells into the... Uh, very nice. Very nice, guys. Very nice. Correct option we have is option 4. Good going, everyone. Good going, good going, good going. So, that means we are here for the full zoology and full zoology we are going to do at any cost today. Now, next one. <coughs> amnion of a mammalian embryo is derived from. Amnion is derived from ectoderm and the mesoderm. No doubt in that. Direct, direct, direct question. Here, 
this is formed from ectoderm and the mesoderm very nice students now again we have to match these two two columns are there guys and match let's have a look the first one proliferative phase second secretory phase third menstrual phase menstrual phase we are going to match directly with the breakdown of endometrium that means endometrium is going to break down over here second we have is a follicular phase follicular phase that means follicles are growing when follicles are growing in the ovaries simultaneously endometrium is also proliferating so this is termed as a proliferative phase luteal phase here the corpus luteum are formed in the ovary whereas a secretory nature of the endometrium is because of the progesterone is formed now you have to match yes correct answer for the first option 2 this is very nice guys very nice option 2 right or option 3 oh sorry option 3 very nice pranav good going no fool hope you are, you are guys are calculating your score also now a temporary endocrine gland in human body temporary which is only formed for the some for some time correct answer we have is corpus luteum now question arises what is the life 14 days maximum 14 days here that is the corpus luteum moving on to the next question capacitation occur in capacitation yes very nice capacitation come on prachi everyone give me answer capacitation capacitation occur in the female reproductive tract capacitation is a process by which sperm attain motility as well as they are now ready to release the enzyme the acrosomal enzyme here yeah? yes so the capacitation where does it occur in the female reproductive tract here from the sperm head albumin they are released and due to which more and more calcium enters in the head which increases the sperm motility no no student it doesn't happen in the epididymis it happens in the female reproductive tract that means after coitus once sperms they are deposited into the female reproductive tract they will undergo capacitation here here yes good now signals for onset of parturition from where does it come it occurs from the fetus and the placenta right fetal ejection reflex it occurs it starts from the fetus fetus is in the pressure because the space is less and the child has been grown now it will release a fetal ejection reflex it will cause the release of oxytocin which will cause uh, along with the prost uh, oxytocin prostaglandins are there also released which causes the contraction of the myometrium which uh, which leads to easy birth of the baby yeah easy question riya easy question everyone in star keshav everyone was it a easy question many times this is asked this is also a pyqs okay but uh, 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 students now let's move towards the next chapter which is your reproductive health again a super important topic ready everyone come on that's so great very nice now <coughs> yes yes this is the energy what i want in you guys now first one select the correct sequence of events used in ivf suppose you are a embryologist and you want that you want to go for or you want you are doing embryo transplantation what are the different step of in vitro fertilization the first what you are going to do is you are going to stimulate the ovarian follicle right you are going to stimulate sweetie ovarian follicle so ovarian follicle stimulation that means more and more follicles will be growth how will you achieve that by injecting fsh right you will see instead of one follicle many follicles they are growing if many follicles are growing that means what will happen the chances of collection of the secondary oocyte will be more so periodic uh, you can say examination ultrasound is being done of the patient and they will they are continuously given fsh injection clear now second what will happen the sperm and the eggs will be collected the oocyte and the egg uh, sperms will they will be collected later on they will allow to in in 
incubate they will be incubated together there will be formation of an embryo then embryo will be transferred and then there will be implantation come on yes sweetie what's the right answer option 2 yes is it option 2 uh, 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 uh. yes yes good 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 Yes, very nice, Aryan. Very nice, everyone. Can we proceed further? Okay. Progested estradiol combined contraceptive pill inhibit ovulation by how do they inhibit ovulation? Because they negative regulate the FSH and LH. Very easy question. Yes, Aryan. Very easy question. How do they do that? By negative regulating it. Now listen. Negative feedback on the release of estrogen from the ovary required for the follicular development in the follicular phase. From the ovary required for the negative feedback on the release of estrogen from the ovary. Okay. Second, preventing the uterine physiological morphological changes required for the implantation. Here we are talking about the ovulation only. Inhibiting the secretion of FSH and luteinizing hormone that are necessary for the ovary. ovulation sir what is the right answer what is the right answer i i'll look at that question i'll look at that part also so this is a correct one okay tell me what is the right uh, what happened uh the first is 3 then 2 then we have is 4 then we have is the first and the fifth this is right insta what happened this is right now next question in front of you guys come on last question option error where is the last question this one option error three the first is three first this will come right then collection is going to do two then we have is i don't know why you're confused this is a three fourth that means fourth then we have is the fifth okay 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 now here we will be having fifth and first you got the point na you got the point you got the point it's okay it's okay good good observation proud of you i got your point i got your point ansta yes ah uh -huh. now moving on to the next consider the statement given below regarding the contraception and choose the correct statement medical termination of pregnancy first trimester is generally safe is it right is it right yes keshav absolutely right next generally chances of conception are nil until mother breastfeed infant up to 2 years is that so or 6 months 6 months what is the now term given lactational amenorrhea intra uterine devices like copper to are effective contraceptive absolutely right contraceptive pills may be taken up to one week after coitus no so which option are right a and c yes come on everyone <coughs> now tell me right right everyone clear a and c both are correct yes come on select the correct c statement according to the modern concept of health health is maintained due to good balance of body humors health does not mean only absence of disease or physical fitness health is completely physical mental or social fitness health increases our work efficiency and longevity what is the right answer come on come on what is the right answer it's very very basic very basic very easy question come on bct very nice aryan come on correct answer we have is bct Yes, very nice. Good job. Good job, Bikash. Good job. Good job, Aryan Prachi. Very nice. 
Now next one, which of the following is not an IUD? What do you mean by IUD? Intrauterine devices. IUT, vault. Vault is what? Why you, vault is placed in uterus? Is it an IUD? No. It is, it comes under a barrier method. Right? Whereas, copper T, multiload 375, progester cert, all are IUD. So which option are we going for? Option 1, sweetie. That is good. Good, good. Now, moving on to the next. Select the correct option. IUI, intrauterine insemination, can help a woman with premature menopause. Is that so? Are you sure about it? Gift involve IVF to help women who cannot produce avum to bear a child. Absolutely right. I'll tell you a trick how to remember this. Who likes gift more? Every woman. So, gift is uh, uh, done in that cases where female is not able to produce egg. Do you remember this? All my sweet girls, all my beautiful girls. I, otherwise, if I say boys also like gift, but it is more said towards a female. So we are, when you have to impress a girl, what will you do? You are going to give them gift. So gift, gamete intrafallopian transfer. Gift involve IVF to help women who cannot produce. No, gift is not the case. Gift is zygote because. Yeah. Next one. Gift involve IVF. To help women who has damaged. Yeah, correct option we have is option number two. Now hope this zift uh, gift will not forget throughout the life. Clear? Yeah? Yes. Now moving on to the next lactational amenorrhea. Ovulation does not occur during the period of intense lactation. Why? Why ovulation does not occur? Because of high level of Prolactin. Because of high level of prolactin. Here, Trisha. Come on, everyone. Tell me, is it correct? Is it correct? High level of prolactin. Let me sit for some time. Okay, good. Now, let's move on to the next question. Now, embryo with more than 16 blastomere formed in IVF is transferred into. When it is more than 16 blastomere, you are going to transfer this into the uterus. If it is less than that, then it is going to transfer. You are going to transfer this into the fallopian tube. And that is termed as the zift. Come on. Clear? Yes? Good, Prachi. Now, next one. Which of the following is incorrect regarding the vasectomy? Vas differentia is cut and tied. Very nice. Irreversible sterility. Too good. No sperm in the seminal fluid. No sperm in the epididymis. Sperm in the epididymis. This is the incorrect. In the epididymis, sperm will be there. Because we have cut and tied. What? The vas difference. So, from the testis, sperm will enter into the rete testis. From that, it will enter into the vasa efferentia. From there, it enters into the epididymis. But further path has been blocked. We are, guys, we are looking for incorrect statement. Yeah? Yes? Very nice. Now, moving on to the next. Which of the following is a hormone releasing IUT? Lippies loop is what? This is a non-medicated. This is a non-medicated IUD. Next, copper 7 is copper releasing. This is a copper releasing IUD. Next one, LNG20 is a hormone releasing. Hormone releasing IUD. Now, the next one we have is a multi-load 375. This is also a copper release. Now, oh, oh, so for, what is the correct answer? Which one is a hormone releasing? LNG20. Now, clear? Was it an easy question? Yes. Now, which of the following approaches does not give 
the defined action of contraceptive. Barrier method prevent fertilization. Yes, it act as a barrier. It will not allow the uh, meeting of the sperm and the egg. IUDs increases phagocytosis of sperm, suppress sperm motility and fertilizing capacity. Absolutely right. This is given in NCRT also. Now, next one, hormonal contraceptive prevent retard entry of the sperm, prevent ovulation, fertilization. Well done. Now, here, vasectomy prevents spermatogenesis. Vasectomy prachi doesn't suppress spermatogenesis. It just blocks the path. Very nice, good girl. Come on. Next one. In context of amniocentesis, which of the following statement is incorrect? We are looking for buddies. Incorrect statement. Yes? Come on. It is usually done in the women between the 14 to 16 week. Sex determination, determination of the Down syndrome, left palate. Right? Everyone, cleft palate. It is not used for the detection of the cleft palate. Cleft palate is not necessary that it should happen because of the genetic factor. Sometimes because of environmental factor also, cleft in the palate is seen. Yeah? Yes, Afra, very nice. Now, let's move on to the next question. Ectopic pregnancies are... Ectopic pregnancies are those pregnancies where implantation instead of occurring in the endometrium occurs somewhere else. It can happen in fallopian tube anywhere. Now, implantation other than the uterus. Yes, Ansta, very nice. Cannot be used for the detection of the cleft palate. Yeah? Can we proceed further? Okay, by the time you read the next question, I'll drink some water. Which of the following is not a STD? Guys, simultaneously, please make sure that you should know the causative agents also because many time question comes in a uh, column-wise manner where we have on one side pathogen, on second side diseases. Okay. <clears throat> The first one is trichomoniasis. Trichomoniasis, causative agent. Trichomonas vaginalis. This is also a STD. Now, next one, encephalitis. That means swelling in the brain, inflammation in the brain. This is not the correct answer. This is not the STD. Yes, so this can be our probable right answer. Now, what about the syphilis? Syphilis causative agent is Treponema pallidum. Treponema pallidum. Here, buddies. Now, next, acquired immunodeficiency syndrome causative agent is HIV. Human immunodeficiency virus. B is correct. Yes, you are 100% right, Kesha. B is correct. Encephalitis. You know, syphilis, because of syphilis also, encephalitis can happen. But this is a condition. It is not only because of these viruses or bacteria. Right, Aryan? Right, Afra? Okay. Now, next one. A childless couple. Come on, my embryologist, my future embryologist. Come on, give this answer. A childless couple, I'm, I'm just sitting, I'm just reading this question. A childless couple can be assisted to have a child through a technique called gift. The full form of this technique is, come on, give me an answer in the comment section, guys. Gift, gamete intrafallopian transfer, gamete interfertilization and transfer, germ cell internal fallopian transfer, gamete inseminated fallopian transfer. Very nice, Prachi, good job, gamete intrafallopian transfer. Hysterectomy, hystra, is a surgical removal of the uterus. So, whenever hystra, that means uh, uterus is removed, this is termed as hysterectomy. Very nice. Now, tubectomy is method for the sterilization in which? Tubectomy, you know, that is done in case of the female. Uterus is removed surgically? No, uterus is not removed surgically. Small part of fallopian tube is removed or tied. Very easy question. Guys, all my buddies, all my uh, students, please remember, 
this is what i expect from my from my heart to like from from you guys we are doing very hard work to good do in zoology so if any of the question comes do let me know and if he, this is giving you confidence do comment that means uh, like you're getting that point na like what i want is you are doing this hard work and definitely it is going to pay you by getting good marks in the examination so the, the problem the thing is you have to be consistent and if i am saying that within this 4 to 5 or the 6 hours whatever the session uh, like for how long the session will continue you should make sure the whole zoology you have to complete today here and still if you have any doubt related to any topic just write it down that this is a topic where you need a some hard work maybe you didn't know about the tribunima pallidum yeah i'm proud of you guys and i want selection i seriously want selection of all my uh, chavi ma'am students uh, like what i want is selection here and whatever doubt you uh, experience uh, or you you must be having in these two days do comment in the comment section this is how we will be going to communicate with one another and definitely i'll give you answer in uh, the comment section only because uh, your preparation should be a uh, one thing and me helping you this is another thing and this is what i want to do guys so what i want from you guys is, is selection stop sleeping stop eating outside food stop eating more eat only small portion and just focus on your studies and i'll tell you one incident uh, uh, not this week last week sunday i f uh, i fell ill at that time uh, uh, like but uh, fever for the three i was having fever for the three days and guys you won't will not imagine that in that three days i i became so weak that for the whole week for the whole week i was not able to take classes so that is the reason i'm saying for two days do not go outside and later on just stay outside doesn't matter after seventh uh, seventh uh, seventh examination stay outside do whatever you want to do but right now just focus on your health and along with that your uh, uh you can say your studies i'll not get definitely anstar if you will get good marks in one of the subject and one of that subject which is like uh, uh, botany and zoology uh, you know that that constitute almost 50% so uh, you will be selected and it's okay it's okay we are i am with you i am uh, me uh, i am always with my guys whatever your problem you face i'm definitely going to help you yes it's okay it's okay doesn't matter Be because thank you so much now let's start okay let's come back now we are ta ta starting a new ta topic which is evolution evolution we will be doing strategies also the animal breeding part also i'll complete now wings of birds and the wings of insects wings of birds now on one side we have is the bird on the second side we have is the insect both belong to the separate category right so if someone belong to the separate category but still they show a common function that is termed as analogous organ so guys these are what analogous organ analogous organ always show convergent evolution i'll tell you how to remember i'll tell you see what do you like in summer season ac we all love ac we all love sitting under ac and wh what is the next thing you like you should have hd television right so that means analogous structure convergent evolution uh, homologous structure and divergent evolution yeah yes will you remember this ac we all love ac air conditioner this is how and one question will directly come from this evidence that i can vouch in this feed yes sweetie ac come on let's move on to the next question gaseous mixture used by miller yes this is an experiment miller and ure experiment which is used for the synthesis of amino acid through heat and electric discharge what were those directly from the ncert come on come on come on tell me uh, 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 what will be the right answer buddies what will be the right answer what what did they use miller and the ure experiment sorry i am sitting i am just <laughs> kindly cooperate with the old age ma'am 
I'm old, old, uh, <laughs> very nice. Methane, ammonia, hydrogen. Methane, ammonia, hydrogen. Ratio 2 is to 1 is to 2. Yes? Good. Now, moving on to the next question. Now, this is the ratio they have asked. I have already discussed about it. Option 3 is the correct one. Yes, Aryan? Yeah? Yeah? Very nice. Now, Stanley Miller synthesized in his experiment. What do they synthesize? What did they get at the end of the experiment? Did they get virus, protein? Then amino acid or cell? Correct answer we have is the amino acid. Very nice, Prachi Afra. Good going. First biosynth photosynthetic organism to appear on the earth. What were those? Very nice. That is the option three. Cyanobacteria. Now next. What is observed in evolution? What do we get in evolution? Evolution means evolution of species, evolution of different forms on the earth. Now, a sudden change occurring in the population. Progeny with a modification. It's a discontinuous process, all of above. What's the right answer? Evolution, if I talk about evolution, what happened in evolution? What's the right answer? Think about it. Come on, everyone. All of above. Very nice. All of above. Everything happened. Sudden change also happened. Right? For example, there was disappearance of uh, dinosaurs. Second thing, sudden uh, progeny with a modification. Right? Next one, it's a discontinuous process. So once it has happened, the reversal is not possible. Do you agree? Do you agree? All of above, Afra. Very nice. All of above is the correct answer. Yes, G1. Very nice. Now, next one. Fossil men, expert in making cave and the painting. Those who are from Madhya Pradesh, they know about it. He, whenever we are talking about those cave painting, those beautiful painting in the, on the cave, that is because of Homo sapiens fossalis. Homo sapiens fossalis, that is a Cro-Magnon man. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Right? Uh, uh, uh. Now, industrial melanism is an example of Industrial melanism is an example of. Industrial melanism is an example of natural selection. Right? It's an example of the natural selection. Now, four limb of a cat, lizard used in walking. One second. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Right, right, right. One thing has happened. Let's go back. Now, sudden change, progeny with, uh, it is a discontinuous process. It is a continuous process. Yes, you're right. So this is wrong. It is a continuous process. I thought they're saying continuous process. Yes, this is, this is wrong. So we'll go with the option two in this case. Clear? Yeah? Yes, yes, Maddie, you're right, you're right. Right? My mistake. I thought continuous is written. Like sometime it happens, like whenever you are reading the question, it happens. Clear? Yes, you're right. <coughs> now, next one. Next question, buddies. Four limb of cat, lizard, used in walking, four limb of whale, used in swimming, and four limb of the bat, used in flying, are the example of. If you look at them, the structure is almost same, but function is different. So what are these? These are the example of? Guys, we are talking about the forelimb of cat, lizard, which is used in the walking, forelimb of the whale, swimming, and the forelimb of the bat used in flying. These are the examples of, what are these examples? Come on, tell me. Come on, tell me what is the right answer. 
yes that's an example of a homologous organ absolutely right now next question come on now it's time to take out your uh, notebook because now we are solving some questions come on so in a population of 1000 individual 360 belong to the genotype aa so we have the genotype aa that is 360 so that means this is p square we have to calculate this as a p square how will you calculate this p square by 360 by 1000 upon total here it will come out to be p is equal to 0.6 clear ramachandra pakira very nice 0.6 next we have given is capital a small a so what is the number 480 so they are asking about the capital a only na so this will be 0.6 yes yeah? so similarly you can calculate for the capital a small a which will be 2 pq you, you can calculate like this you can calculate for small a small a it will come out to be 0.4 how because p plus q is equal to 1 clear everybody now next one which of the following are the analogous structures so analogous structures are those structure who do not have a common ancestor no common ancestor no common ancestor no structural similarity no structural similarity but same function but same function clear which option are we going for wings of bats and wings of pigeon what is the function of both of these they help in flying clear they help in flying come on now next one a variation in the gene frequency within population can occur by chance rather than natural selection this is referred as genetic drift sudden change in the gene frequency of a small population this is termed as gene frequency clear clear so this always remember that gene this change occurs in the small population not in a big population in fact in the small population clear yes now read the next question according to darwin the organic evolution is due to organic evolution that means evolution of this much species on the earth it is because of which thing it is because of the interspecific competition that means between the species competition is there so that is the reason they diverted from the parent population and they migrated towards a new kind of species yeah so that is interspecific competition very 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 important right aryan so option 3 is correct over here now let's move on further hmm yes interspecific afra very nice now next one the process by which organism with a different evolutionary history different evolution history evolve a similar phenotype adaptation in response to a common environment termed as the convergent evolution we have one type of species showing a particular character another type of species showing another character both these characters they are same because they are kept under the same type of habitat what is the right answer the convergent evolution here what's the right answer convergent evolution now next one read this question guys sam when start 11 standard classes please tell ma'am 11 standard you mean to say this marathon 11th questions we have already completed this is a uh, we have already completed almost 5 hours so in the first 3 hours we 3 and a half hours we were doing 11th standard
yes some questions are same some questions are different right correct answer what's the correct answer eyes of octopus and eyes of cat what's the function it help in the vision yeah but uh, uh, if i talk about the structure structure is different analogous organ ac analogous organ and convergent evolution no one's the analogous uh, right example is analogous organ and they show convergent evolution now next one the idea of mutation was brought forth by idea of mutation was brought forth by that is the hugo debris who worked on oinothera lemarkiana that is oinothera lemarkiana he worked on evening primrose oinothera lemarkiana he gave the concept of saltation right saltation he gave the concept of saltation here yeah? that means single step large mutation here yeah? here yeah? drawing yes now let's move on to the next question what was the most significant trend in the evolution of the modern man homo sapiens the most significant very easy ganesh that is right so questions beta uh, uh, some questions they are different there are other questions also it's okay uh, student harika 12 standard is going on so go through these questions first clear come on that is a cranial capacity yes the most significant one very nice that is a cranial capacity now next one the extinct human who lived 1 lakh to 40000 years ago in the europe asia and the part of africa with a short stature heavy eyebrows retreating for heads large jaws with a heavy teeth stocky bodies a lumbering gait and stooped posture was one who are these these are the neanderthals these are the neanderthals dear sweetie yes neanderthal very nice good going buddies now let's talk about a new chapter which is a human health and diseases hope till now the concepts are clear now only few questions are left we will be dealing with the human health and diseases and uh, uh, other chapter biotechnology chapter strategies for the enhancement of food product yes good first question guys you have two column and you have to match these two column the first one plasmodium vocheria antamoeba microsporum should i match yes plasmodium plasmodium is responsible for causing malaria vocheria amoeba oh sorry vocheria causes elephantiasis antamoeba amoebiasis microsporum trichophyton epidermophyton three examples ncert mentions so this is a correct answer guys can you match okay buddies very easy so all the diseases and the causative agents should be clear to you is it a first option okay okay good now which of the following set of diseases is caused by bacteria tetanus clostridium tetanae and this is a mump mump virus so this is a virus disease mump virus herpes virus virus diseases influenza virus virus diseases vibrio e cholerae bacterial tetanus clostridium tetanae bacterial is the right one typhoid salmonella typhi and aapka uh, <laughs> variola virus clear jyoti very nice option c here is correct clear now ha oh, tell me very nice now let's move on to the next question damage to thymus in a child may lead to reduction in the amount of plasma protein loss of antibody mediated immunity 
loss of cell mediated immunity or reduction in the hemoglobin content in the blood hope you are not going with the option 4 yes correct answer we have is loss of cell mediated immunity here yeah, cell mediated immunity now let's go fast next is the spread of cancerous cell to distinct site that is termed as what do we call it spread mutation malignancy metastasis benignant tumor what is the right answer come on everyone in the comment section come on come on come on what will be the right answer the spread of cancer cell spread of cancer cell to distant site what do we call it what's the name yes metastasis that procedure by which they spread metastasis metastasis has happened right and the condition is termed as malignancy guys condition is termed as malignancy whereas spread is termed as metastasis now next one the mo most active phagocytic cells most active phagocytic cells the wbc which one the neutrophils and monocyte phagocytic cells yes good going now next one which of the following is correct statement regarding the particular psychotropic drug specified <coughs> now i told you nikita nikita raj listen whenever we talk about the spread has happened that means cells now present in the body that is because that is termed as a malignancy but the process by which it spread that is metastasis so what is the right answer here yes option 4 is correct hashish causes after thoughts perception and hallucination these are the psychotropic drugs <coughs> Now, next one, which of the following is correct regarding the correct regarding is its causative agent, which is HIV. You have to find out a correct answer. Here, yeah? correct answer you have to select. Very nice, Afra. Very nice. Good, good, good. Very nice. It is an enveloped virus. It is having two identical molecules of single standard RNA and two molecules of the reverse transcript. Good job. Next question, which of the following statement is not true for the cancer cell? Not true for the cancer cell in relation to the mutation. Right? Not true. Now, mutation in the proto-oncogene accelerate. Yes, this is right, but this is not the correct answer. Next, destroy telomerase inhibitor. So, if the inhibitors, they are destroyed, that means cell will not undergo, cell will not undergo the uh, uh, chromosomal shortening right no chromosomal shortening that means no apoptosis this is right but this is not the correct answer now mutation inactivates the cell control right not the correct answer now next one it inhibit the production of telomerase no stimulate the production of telomerase if there is more telomerase if there is more telomerase that means chromosome shortening will not occur menal right so this is the correct answer Clear? So this is the correct answer. Guys, clear? Tell me. Any doubt in this in this question? Hi, Brijesh. Now tell me, guys, is it a correct answer? Do you agree to this point? So what are these telomerase? Telomerase helps in chromosomal lengthening because after every division, chromosome they reduce this uh, uh, like the size of the chromosome is reduced. If they are reduced up to a particular mark, then in that case, the cell will undergo uh, uh, apoptosis. Now, organism which cause diseases in plants and animals, what do we call it? These are the pathogen. Jyoti, it should not be the case. Telomerase inhibitor. Telomerase inhibitor are those which inhibit the activity of telomerase. But we need telomerase. If telomerase will not function, then will then the cell will undergo apoptosis, which we should not, we, we do not want, right, Jyoti? Yeah. Yes, this is a pathogen. 
Next one, anti-venom injections contain a preformed antibody, while polio drops that are administered into the body contain that two drops of life. What do they have? What do what do they have? Attenuated pathogen. What do they have? Is attenuated pathogen. Clear? <coughs> Got it? Good. Now, next question. In higher vertebrate, the immune system can distinguish cell cell and non self. If this property is lost due to genetic abnormality, it attacks the self cell, termed as autoimmune disease. Very easy. Very easy question. Am I right? Right, buddies? Very easy question. Autoimmune diseases. Body has started producing antibodies against our own cell only. Now, next question, which of the following not transferred to the semen? Chikungunya virus. Yes, Shivika, what's the doubt, student? Tell me. Okay, guys, till now, do you have any doubt? You can ask. I am waiting. Tell me, tell me. It's okay. It's a doubt time. Then I will proceed further. Now, chikungunya is the one which doesn't spread through sexual contact. Chikungunya virus. Yes, Shivika, what's the doubt? I'm waiting. Come on, you can ask. Yes, second Gunia virus, Jyoti. Good job. <coughs> clear? I guess doubt is clear. Let's move on to the next question. Yes. Tuberculosis. You have to match with the type of vaccine. First of all, we have talked about the polio. Polio is harmless virus. Remember, what is a tuberculosis? Harmless bacteria. Whooping cough. Whooping cough is killed bacteria. Diphtheria is inactivated toxin. Here? Yeah? Here? Yeah? Now. Next one. HIV that cause AIDS first start destroying T helper cell. So their number is greatly reduced. Right? Here? Yeah. <clears throat> Clear? Clear? Now. Very nice. Now, next question. The active form of entamoeba histolytica feeds on erythrocyte mucosa, some mucosa of the large intestine, which is the colon. Yeah? Yes? So, that is the reason person experienced abdominal cramp and also blood in the stool. Yeah? Uh, uh, uh. Is it clear? Come on. Now, moving on to the next, we have is biotechnology. Guys, now we are going to discuss the chapters of the biotechnology, two chapter. Ready? Ready, buddies? Come on. Let's go. Whatever doubts you have related to this chapter, you can comment in the comment section. I will definitely answer because your selection is my priority. Yes? Come on. You have to select a incorrect statement. Now, plasmid have the ability to replicate within the bacterial cell independent of the control of the chromosomal DNA. Is it right? Yes. Plasmids? Their number 1 to 2, 15 to 200. Bacteriophage has the capability to uh, replicate within the bacterial cell independent of the chromosomal DNA. Transformation is the procedure of separation, isolation, fragmentation. Correct answer we have is option. Right, G1? Very nice. Option 4 is correct. Uh, sorry, incorrect. That means the transformation. Here they are saying transformation is the separation, isolation of the DNA fragment. It is a gel electrophoresis. What is the correct answer? Gel electrophoresis. Now, moving on to the next question. 
read the following statement for restriction enzyme and choose option which have only correct one here yeah, correct one we have to select restriction enzyme belong to a large class of enzyme nucleases is absolutely right they are of two kind exonuclease endonuclease yes restriction enzyme are so called because they can identify a particular nucleus they are termed as restriction because they restrict the growth so this is not the correct explanation more than any hand it has been isolated a b and d options are correct yes here yeah. here buddies happy no no not all of them are correct see look at this read this question restriction enzyme are so called because they can only identify a particular nucleotide c oh yay now a and b are two different colonies of bacteria read this question a and b are two different colonies of bacteria after undergoing recombination a produces b uh, blue colony a is producing blue colony b are producing white colony find out the correct statement colony b has recombinant bacteria which show insertional inactivation right b is producing white colony that means absolutely right that means b insertional inactivation has happened the insertional inactivation of which gene beta galactosidase beta galactosidase has been inactivated right this is because of the lack z gene yes afra option 1 is correct not option 2 option 1 see which are producing a, a, a blue color colony so that means where these are colony where the beta galactosidase is being produced that is the reason after adding chromogenic substrate we are giving up they are giving us a product if beta galactosidase gene is not working that means insertional inactivation has happened it will give the white colony instead of a blue colony now next question which of the following is an advantage of a bioreactor which use continuous culture rather than a batch culture right advantages of a continuous culture rather than a batch culture it provide uh, provides required growth conditions like temperature ph substrate salt vitamin and oxygen the transferred recombinant cells are allowed to grow in a large bioreactor till maximum amount of biochemical has been formed Why reactor is made empty, clean? A fresh medium is being added. It is a regular drainage of the medium and the culture cell from one side and fresh medium from another side, leading to high yield of desired product. Right. So when we talk about the continuous culture, right? Continuous culture that means we what we are doing is we are continuously culturing. And when we are continuously culturing, that means more product we are adding, more things we are extracting. Here, here, buddies. Correct answer we have is option four. Yes, Afra, very nice. Agro gel electrophoresis. agro gel electrophoresis what is the right answer very easy you know this gel electrophoresis is again examiner's favorite question gel electrophoresis in the agro gel electrophoresis we stain the dna with ethidium bromide and that gives orange color right that produces orange color right brijesh so ethidium bromide can be used to visualize the dna fragment not pink colored the orange color ncert says orange color bands are produced next one state tank bioreactor have been designed for availability of oxygen throughout the process addition of preservative to the product purification of product ensuring anaerobic condition correct answer state tank continuous stirring of the propeller is happening why because we have to increase the oxygen content hai you na know? right right okay now it is an advantage to use a vector having a multiple cloning site why why do we need such vector why do we use such vectors which is having multiple cloning site contains many copy of the cloned gene contains many copy of the same restriction enzyme 
allow flexibility of the choice of restriction enzyme fourth option we have is allow flexibility in the choice for the gene of cloning what is the right answer why do we need a uh, uh, the one which has a multiple cloning site multiple cloning site that means multiple restriction enzyme site so that means we have this liberty that we can select different type of restriction endonuclease yeah so correct answer we have is option number 3 human health and diseases is done student it is done now we are talking about the chapter which is the biotechnology principle and processes here question uh, guys is related to the restriction enzyme guys more the site restriction sites are present more different restriction site that means the particular enzyme or a different kind of enzymes we can use here yeah? very nice very nice <coughs> now when gene targeting involving gene amplification is attempted in an individual tissue to treat disease this is termed as a gene therapy that means what we are doing is we are replacing the faulty gene with the new gene or the functional gene here yeah? now next one adenosine deaminase deficiency result in adenosine uh, result in skid that is severe combined immuno deficiency that means person's immune system will be compromised thank you so much so it will cause skid what's the full form severe combined immuno deficiency Clear? Yeah, so, person immune system is compromised. Very nice. Clear? Yeah. Now, next one, guys. Again, we have to match these two column. Come on, everyone. <coughs> Come on, everyone. Match. Come on, match. bacillus thuringiensis it gives us a cry uh, protein thermus aquaticus dna polymerase agrobacterium tumefaciens cloning vector salmonella typhi murium plasmid was used for the construction of the first recombinant dna technology clear yeah, very easy question very easy question by guys clear yeah? so you can select a correct option in jelly electrophoresis separated dna fragments can be visualized with the help of ethidium bro oh, sorry ethidium bromide in uv radiation ethidium bromide is a potential carcinogen so it intercalates between the dna and when it intercalates between the dna and when we use after staining plants will not be visible but yes we have to use the uv radiation here yeah? Now, next one the sequence that controls the copy number of the linked dna in the vector is termed as which which thing is there in the plasmid which controls the copy number what is that guys that is the ore site ore site determines the copy number that means how many number or like how many plasmids they will be produced so that copy number is because of the ore site right which is just adjacent to the rope Clear? Yeah? Clear? Yeah? Now, next question: the specific palindromic sequence. At least you should remember for eco R one, right? Afra, what is what, what is that? G A T T C. Clear? Yeah? G A T T C. What do you want to know about the sewage treatment, student? Sai sai. Okay, good. Now, next one. identify the wrong statement with regard to the restriction site or restriction sorry enzyme wrong statement guys we have to select now restriction and uh, they cut the strand of the dna at a palindromic site yes they cut at a pal but particular palindromic site this is 100% right they are useful in genetic engineering yes they are useful in genetic engineering 
Sticky ends can be joined by DNA ligases. This is also right. Now, next is each restriction enzyme function by inspe inspecting the length of the DNA sequence. No. The only target of these enzymes are the palindromic sequences. So, why do they need to invest? Now, first restriction endonuclease that always cut DNA molecule at particular point by recognizing a specific sequence that is a HIND2. HIND2 was the first one which was isolated. Clear? Clear buddies? Yes, come on, come on, come on. Yes, very nice. Now, next one we have is, in a mixture of DNA fragments, they are separated by. How are you going to separate the DNA fragment? With the help of the gel electrophoresis. So, they separate the DNA fragment on the basis of their size and charge. Yeah? Come on, next one. In recombinant DNA technology, antibiotics are used. Why antibiotics are used? Because they act as a selectable marker. Yes. So, they act as a selectable markers. Clear? Yes? Selectable markers. So, selectable marker help in recognizing recombinants from the non-recombinants. We want recombinants only because recombinants are those which are having our gene of interest and how we can identify it with the help of selectable marker. And the second process by which we can identify is by with the help of the insertional inactivation procedure. Clear? Yes? <coughs> Come on. Now, next question. Which one of the following equipment is essentially required for growing microbes on a large scale for industrial production of enzyme? What is that? That is a biofermenters or the bioreactors. These are the huge vessels. These are the huge vessels for around 1000 liter of the culture medium is being produced. Yeah, very nice. Now, moving on to the next, DNA precipitation out of a mixture of biomolecule can be achieved by the treatment of. Very nice. How we can do that? By giving them alcohol. And which alcohol? The chilled alcohol. That is the chilled ethanol. So, whenever you add chilled ethanol, the precipitation of the DNA will occur. This I have made one uh, shot also where I am isolating the DNA of the banana. You can refer to that. So, there the chilled ethanol is being used. Now, following statement describe the characteristics of the enzyme restriction endonuclease. Identify the incorrect statement. Guys, you have to identify incorrect statement. Yes? Come on. The enzyme cut double standard DNA at the specific position. Yes, this is right. It cuts at specific sequence. Now, the enzyme bind DNA at specific site and cut only one of the two strands. Does it cut only one or both the strands? It cuts both the strands. So, this is our incorrect option. Yes, because it cuts double standard DNA. Yes, buddies? <clears throat> yeah? Now, let's proceed further. The correct order of PCR, polymerase chain reaction is denaturation, annealing and then extension. Right? So, what do we do guys in this case? We take the DNA, we separate both the strand by increasing the temperature, then annealing is being done, annealing oligonucleotide primer is being annealed and once oligonucleotide primer is annealed, later on extension happens. And in the extension, the polymerase, such as your TAC polymerase, such as your PFU polymerase, the VENT polymerase, these are the example, they help in extension process. Very easy question and you know, PCR is everyone's, your examiner's favorite question. Now, next question guys, it is the use of bioresources by MNC, an organization without authorization from concerned country, that is termed as biopirase. Yeah, what's the name? Biopiracy.
ओके बडीज दैट इज टर्म डाज बायो पायरेसी यू गाइज ऑल्सो ड्रिंक सम वॉटर आई एम ऑल्सो ड्रिंकिंग सम वॉटर बिकॉज वॉटर इज इम्पॉर्टेंट now moving on to the next question which technology help to identify a bacterial viral pathogen in a human body even when its concentration is very low how we can do that pcr what is that pcr three bottles oh my god i have not even completed one bottle chalo that is a pcr pcr is used even when a small amount of pathogen is present in the body their genome is amplified how we can amplify it with the help of a pcr i guess none of you will do this mistake because you all must have gone for the rt pcr test irrespective of the pathogen present in your body or not if even a small pathogen is present it is going to give a positive test rt pcr gene therapy to treat adenosine deaminase deficiency disorder which of the patient blood cells are used correct answer we have is lymphocytes now what is the meaning of bt in bt cotton that means what do we have is cotton seed carrying an endotoxin gene from the bacillus thuringiensis against pink ball worm yes very nice ha huh. good 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 now next one which kind of therapy was given to a four year gene therapy very easy now which part of tobacco plant is infected by the melindogyne incognita that was the roots so their roots was affected right so their root was affected by a nematode named melindogyne incognita now next one two polypeptide they are joined together by disulfide bond. Yeah, A chain having twenty-one amino acid, B chain having thirty amino acid. Both are joined by the disulfide bond. Very, very, very important question. Yeah. Now, which body of government of India regulates the GM research and safety of introducing GM organism for public services? Suppose you have made one GM crop. You have made one GM crop, and that GM crop you need approval. So, where are you going to get the approval? The Genetic Engineering Approval Committee (GEAC). Yes. Come on. Good. Now, Bt cotton, Bt toxin present in the plant tissue or the protoxin is converted into active toxin due to alkaline pH of the insect gut. Yeah. alkaline ph of the insect gut that is going to convert the inactive form of endotoxin into the active form now next one which of the following is a correct statement bt in the bt cotton indicate that it is genetically modified organism produced uh, produced through the biotechnology somatic hybridization involve the fusion of the two complete plant cells carrying desired gene <coughs> the anticoagulant hirudin is produced from the brassica napus seed flavor flavor variety of tomato has enhanced the production of ethylene which improve its taste what is the right answer what is the right answer guys think about it give me correct answer in the comment section come on come on come on come on everyone think about it what well, yes Absolutely right. Going on the right track. Come on. Is it produced from the? Ah, uh, see, first is Bt indicate genetically modified, but Bt here doesn't mean we are talking about the biotechnology. It doesn't mean that it is produced from the biotechnology. So this is not the correct option. Now, somatic hybridization in, uh, uh, involves the fusion of the two complete plant cells, carrying carrying the desired gene. This is right. Now next one, the anticoagulant hirudin is produced from brassica napus seed. No, we have introduced the gene of the hirudin into the brassica napus. They are, we are not getting this from uh, uh, this uh, brassica napus. Flavor, flavor variety, polygalactouranase. Correct answer we have is option two, somatic hybridization. Next one, select the incorrect statement. RNA interference silencing take place in all the eukaryotic cell as a method of a cellular defense. 
RNAi requires silencing of mRNA by binding to the complementary double stranded DNA molecule. No, it is the uh, double stranded RNA molecule. Complementary nucleic site could be formed as mobile genetic element transposons. TI plasmid or nematode specific have been used in the RNA interference. Correct answer. First option. Right? Now. Oh, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. There is a problem. Option 2 is correct, yes. This is correct. This is correct. This one is a double standard RNA. This is a double standard RNA. So, this is not the correct option. We will be going for this option. Mobile genetic complementary nucleic can be form a mobile genetic element. Yes, this is right transposone. TI plasmid. Yes, ye, this was the used. Correct answer we have is option 2. Yes. Option 2 is a correct one. Yes, yes, yes. Now, next one. Which of the following statement is incorrect? Again, we have to find out an incorrect statement. Study of complex factors involved in the growth such as uh, insulin-like growth factor. Yes, this is one of the factors to study the physiology and biochemistry, the genetically modified organisms we are using. Human protein beta um, antitrypsin is used for the treatment of amphysema. Transgenic mice is used to test the safety of the polio, virus, polio vaccine. Use bulging product can be created by introduction of the portion of the DNA. Now, tell me, what is the right answer? Come on. Which of the following statement is incorrect? The first one, study of the complex factor involved in the growth, such as insulin-like growth factor. This is a statement. Second one, human protein beta-1 antitrypsin is used for the treatment of emphysema. Come on, come on, come on. What is the right answer? Very nice. The alpha antitrypsin, not beta, alpha. Here, yeah? very nice. Now, next one, which of the following is a powerful technique to identify many genetic disorders and detect mutation in the gene in suspected cancer patient? <coughs> How you are going to do that? How you are going to do that? Cancer detection, ELISA, how we can detect the mutation, mutation we have to detect with the help of very nice, the PCR and the probe. So PCR, with the PCR we are going to amplify the genome, with the probe we will be able to see if probe binding is there, that means no mutation, if probe are not binding, that means mutation has occurred in the gene. Here Maddie, very nice, option 2 is correct over here. Now next one. Number of transgenic plants have been produced with a number of the useful application. Which of the following is a mismatch regarding the transgenic plants and its application? Mismatch. What is a mismatch? What is a mismatch? Mismatch is tobacco herbicide resistant. Here? Yeah. Here? Yeah. This is the correct one. Yes. In the flavor flavor variety, we have delayed the ripening process. Why? Guys, we have to look for a mismatch. We have to look for a mismatch. Yes, three. Now, next one. The flavor flavor variety of tomato, which of the following enzyme has been blocked? Polygalactourinase. We have delayed the ripening process. How? By silencing the gene of the polygalactourinase. Right, Afra? Here? Yes. Next question, genetically engineered insulin is considered better for human diabetic patient over the isolated from the animal cell. Why? Genetically expressed in bacterial cells are of low molecular weight. Insulin from other animals are not pure. Genetically insulin will not elicit immune response in the human body. Yes, it will not elicit immune response in the body. Otherwise, immunological reactions will occur. Now, next one, pro recombinant DNA technology, it is not possible to transform certain plants with the genes encoding an insertional protein derived from bacteria. How we can do that? Guys, we are talking about the plants. So for the plants, agrobacterium tumifate. Yeah? Yeah? 
Clear? Yes? Come on. So what is the right answer? Insertional derived from the bacteria. The tube, uh, agrobacterium tumefaciens from which we have isolate, isolated the TI plasmid. Next question. The prerequisite for the biotechnology production of antibiotic is to search for an antibiotic producing microorganism, to isolate the antibiotic resistance gene, to join the antibiotic resistance gene with the E. coli plasmid. What will be the right answer? How you are going to do that? All of above. Right? That means prerequisite for the antibiotic production. We look for the microorganism which is having the uh, antibiotic, then we are going to take out that gene. After taking out that gene, we are going to transfer it into a factory and that factory can be your E. coli. Yes, Keshav? Very nice. Option D is correct. Next, prenatal screening in human AIDS virus testing in humans and genetic engineering for protection against the insect pest in the plants. All are the type of gene therapy. All are the application of our DNA technology. These are all are the application of the DNA technology. Clear? Come on. Clear, buddies? See, these are all are the application of the recombinant DNA technology. Either we talk about the gene therapy or we talk about treating some diseases in human, the genetic engineering, everything comes under the recombinant DNA technology. Yes. <coughs> now, golden rice. Golden rice is rich in vitamin A, beta carotene. ADA. Full form, adenosine deaminate. Yeah? Now, in vitro clonal propagation, this is a, a PYQ. Yeah. Please remember, PCR and RAPD. RAPD is randomly amplified polymorphic DNA. Clear, buddies? Definitely, Keshav, definitely. PDF will be shared with you guys. Now, next one, the first hormone produced by recombinant DNA technology, that is insulin. First hormone which is produced by the recombinant DNA technology, we all know that is a insulin. Trade name is humulin. Now, which of the following Bt crop is grown in India by the farmer? Bt cotton. Now, next one. Yes. Now, we are starting with the last chapter. Come on, come on, come on. Everyone ready? Can we start with the last chapter, strategies for the enhancement of food production? Yes, buddies. <coughs> First question. Animal husbandry deals with. Animal husbandry deals with. The care, breeding of the livestock, cows, buffaloes, pig, everything come, poultry, farming, fisheries, etc. Correct answer is all of above. Yes, so everything is included in the strategies for the enhancement of food production. Either it is your poultry or your fisheries or your camels, goats, etc. Clear? Very easy question. Next one. Fisheries include rearing and catching and the selling of fish, shellfish, crustacean. Everything is included in fisheries. Whereas when we talk about the pisciculture, in the pisciculture only fishes are there. But here fisheries, everything has been included. Here? Yes. Very nice buddies. Very nice. Now, most common species of honeybee, Apis indica. Apis indica. Very easy question. Now, what are the strategies for enhancement of food production? Animal husbandry, plant breeding, embryo transfer, tissue culture. All these are the technology for the food production. All four are correct. Here, so all are correct is a correct answer. Yes, buddies, AP Syndica, absolutely right. This is the correct answer. Yes. Come on. Uh -uh. Can we move further? Okay. Now, super ovulation and embryo transfer are meant for improving. Why? Correct answer we have is livestock. So, they are used for the improvement of the livestock. Yeah, very easy question. Livestock improvement. 
for example for increasing the uh, efficiency in the milk production we take out egg we collect egg that is termed as the embryo transfer right moit technology moit super ovulation m o e t multiple ovulation and embryo transfer ovulation and embryo transfer these are the moit technology clear now which approaches have been applied to achieve improvement in quality and productivity of animal improvement which approaches conventional practices yes artificial insemination yes moit all of above all of above is the right answer yeah but is all of above is the right answer that means to improve uh, uh, all this what do we do is we conventional practices that means superior male and the female they are selected and they are breeded and we allow them to breed and the second one artificial insemination or the embryo transfer the moit technology all of them they are being done good now moit stands for multiple ovulation embryo transfer technology option multiple ovulation and embryo transfer that means female will be multiple ovulated how with the help of fsh injection 6 to 8 eggs are produced those eggs they will be retrieved and those eggs they are now fused or fertilized with the sperm and once the embryos are formed a to 16 a to 32 cells embryos are formed they are transferred into the mother ठीक है इज इट राइट नाउ हिसार डेल वेरी डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन सो हिसार डेल इज प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय क्रॉसिंग बीकानेरी यूज एंड मरीनो रैम सो ओनली सिंगल एग्जांपल व्हिच इज देयर इन द जूलॉजी पार्ट ऑफ दिस चैप्टर स्ट्रेटजीज ऑफ एनहांसमेंट रेस्ट ऑल एग्जांपल्स देयर फ्रॉम बॉटनी नाउ नेक्स्ट in which method of animal breeding male and female of different species are mated when we say guys different species are mated this is termed as interspecific hybridization what do we call interspecific hybridization different species they are being co uh, crossed clear interspecific hybridization thank you so much i cannot get network thank you so much i know when like if i'll not uh, say thank you till uh, that that time you'll keep on writing ma'am you're so beautiful you're so brave. thank you so much i read your comment thank you so much i really appreciate it yes come on now hisar dale has been developed by outcrossing interspecific hybridization cross breeding or intraspecific hybridization what is the right answer what is the right answer guys tell me <coughs> botany class will also happen pranav in some days it will happen okay jeevan i'll explain you what is a cross breeding what is a out cross uh, uh, uh. okay <coughs> now whenever we talk about the breeding part i'll explain you all the concept of ncrt see there are two concepts breeding first one is termed as inbreeding and second one is termed as outbreeding with this all questions you will be able to solve that i can promise you inbreeding guys whenever we talk about the inbreeding that means breeding between the same breed that means breeding between same breed same breed so one of the problem that comes with the inbreeding is the inbreeding depression clear right now outbreeding outbreeding that means within the same breed but in a different way i'll tell you about so outbreeding is of two type sorry three type right the first one is termed as outcross 
second is cross breeding cross breeding and third one we have is interspecific hybridization inter specific hybridization Now, but is when we talk about the outcross, outcross means mating between, mating between two organisms belonging to, belonging to same breed, same, listen very carefully, breed, but very important, no common ancestor. No common ancestor for four to six generations. Right? Now, suppose someone has done inbreeding, but after inbreeding, the problem which he or she has faced is the inbreeding depression. Clear? Yeah? Inbreeding depression. So, how you are going to overcome the problem of an inbreeding depression? By outcross. By a single outcross, the inbreeding depression can be overcome. Now, cross breeding means what? So, cross breeding means cross between two different breed. Breed one, breed two. So, in this, the example we have is the Hisar Dale cross breeding. The example we have is a cross breeding. Now, whenever we talk about the interspecific hybridization, that means a species one, we are going to cross with a species two organism. In this, the example we have is a mule. What do we have is a mule, right? So here, guys, you can take an example of the Hisar Dale. Hisar Dale is a cross between Bikaneri ewes and Merino rams. And interspecific hybridization example you can take of a mule. Now clear? Is it clear, Brijesh, now? It's okay. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. Now tell me. Guys, is it clear? Come on. Ha, right. Yeah, very nice. Liger also, Tiger also, you can take an example. So, hope this is clear. Now, please do not do any mistake. When we are doing in the same breed, same breed and common ancestor. And they have a, along with the same breed, they have a common ancestor also. Yeah, here they don't, do not have a common ancestor for four to six generations. Here the breeds are different. Now, what are breeds? Guys, what are breeds? Breeds are those which look alike. Their external feature is same. So, they are breeds. Now, moving on to the next question is, which product of apiculture is used in cosmetics? What do we use? We use royal jellies and wax. Now, next one, inbreeding depression is overcome by. Very important question. Inbreeding depression, that means the problem which is related to the homozygosity, which help in reduction of, which basically re not help, which reduces the vigor. So, correct answer we have is outcross. NCRT says even a single outcross, even a single outcross will reduce the inbreeding depression. Yeah? Yes, buddies? Yes, my future doctors? Now, moving on to the next, which technique is used to overcome several problems related to the normal mating? Guys, here this question has some problem. NCRT says when a normal mating is not possible, then one can go for artificial insemination. But the more best idea behind this is the moid. Right? But NCRT talks about it, so this is the right answer. Artificial insemination directly given in the NCRT. So, Artificial insemination, whenever the problem is there because of the incompatibility between the uh, male and the female, that is incompatibility, artificial insemination. But the success rate, we talk about the more success rate, that is in the moit because we are directly calculating, uh, taking out the eggs. Yeah. Now, next one, world livestock population, that is 70%. Yeah. Yes, Maddie. Yes, my doctors. All my smart, beautiful girls and uh, guys. Now, artificial insemination means, artificial insemination, that means 
artificial introduction of the sperms of a healthy donor into the vagina. We, you all know about it. Artificial insemination. Sperms collected and later on they are introduced into the vagina. Clear? Yeah. Now, next one. Animal breeding is important aspect of animal husbandry. Aim for animal breeding is an R. What are the aim? That is to increase the yield of animal to improve the desirable quality of the product. Both one and two. Both one and two. Maddie, Afra, everyone is the correct answer. Clear? Now, blue revolution is related to blue revolution is related to the PC culture. Now, next question: Moit is a method of Fish cultivation, hybridization of cattle. Eggs are being collected. Yeah, eggs are being yes when it is when it is in their heat period. So eggs are collected and later on the embryos they are produced. Now next question: Which among the following is the raising the super milk cows? How? All of above. Artificial in insemination with the pedigree bull. Those which is superior. Given in the NCERT. Embryo transplantation, super ovulation, all of this is the correct answer. Okay, Pranav, all of this. That means egg will be collected from a healthy female, sperm will be collected from the healthy male, and later on embryos are formed and they are introduced into the female body. Clear? Clear, buddies? Now, let's move on to the next question. PC culture, PC culture, PC culture. Is rearing and production of fishes. Now, which is the best breeding method for animals that are below average in milk production? What is that? Outcross. Outcross. Here, yeah? with the help of an outcross, we can increase the efficiency directly given in the NCR. Got it? Ragini, very nice. Oh God, so. With this, we have completed our today's session, everyone. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, tell me. How was it, guys? Did you enjoy? Did you enjoy the today's class? Almost six hours we have studied. Almost six hours we have discussed about. Yeah, it's okay. So, we have discussed about so many questions, almost 300 uh, questions we have studied from each and every chapter. How was it? Did you enjoy? Yes. Like, did you get a confident? Like, did you get the confidence that you will be able to perform good in your examination? Yes. This is the confidence what I want from you guys. Definitely it is going to help you. So hope you, you guys have noted down. Hope you guys have noted down all the important concepts which is important for your examination. Second thing is hope you have noted down those concepts where you are weak because now you have to practice uh, that particular topic. You have to go through it. Second important thing is guys only focus on your NCRT right now looking for the things and that you will get from somewhere this particular notes or that particular notes. No, that is not going to solve the problem. If you have NCRT, go with the NCRT. Your notes, your board notes, whatever notes you have, just focus on that. All the very best for your examination. Didn't even fin finish, ma'am. Was really. Thank you so much, Pranav. Thank you so much, Manjula. Botany will be soon. Schedule uh, will be shared with you. Here. Yeah? If I tell you, today zoology was not uh, scheduled. It uh, has to take place tomorrow. That is on the 5th. But somehow, if we have to pre-pawn it on the 4th. Because we have to complete your syllabus. We have to complete physics, chemistry, mathematics, biology. All subject before your examination. Yeah? Okay. Now, bye everyone. See you in the next class.